Hey, hey everybody. Hey. Hi, Eric. Hey. Welcome hey. to PodQuest. PodQuest. Number 47. Nice. Are we on issues still? It doesn't matter. We're here. Number 47. Uh, what is our, our, our reverse number? I don't know. I gave up on that <laughs> after like 8, 4, something like that. Number. 74. We started in a million and we were working our way backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Along with our traditional numbering of going forwards. We comic booked the shit out of it. Yeah, uh, we yeah. just we retcon all the time. So uh, we're back to traditional numbering. Once we get to 52, we're going to be like DC for the next one and go back to 1. No, we're not. Because that's how they do. They do 52 and they're done. No, they don't. Because they're terrible. Batman and Robin just ended at issue 40. Yeah, you stupid well, asshole. Well, their max they usually do is 52. Superman didn't go to yeah, but they, 52. They, they, they don't reboot it at issue 52. They had 52 ongoing comics at one point. Yeah, I know. When it they was rebooted. the new 52 And then w- within six months, that wasn't the number anymore, but it was still the new 52. Yeah. It was they, down to like 12. They're no, just, cause they, they, del- they like canceled three, but added like 13, and then they canceled mm-hmm. five of those. After a month, they're like, these three aren't good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fucking comic books. It's a, it was a stupid ones. Yeah, that's true. All-Star Western. That's still not going on, is it? No, that one went on for a while, though, because that tied into... Um, Batman. Court of Owls. That's right. That's weird. So that went for at least 13 issues? That's Jonah Hex, though, isn't it? I don't know if the whole thing was Jonah Hex, but I know he was involved in it. Right, I know right. it was Jonah Hex during Court of Owls, that's I believe. Like, makes sense, at least. So I'm like, the fuck? Who wants to read All-Star Western? That sounds dumb. Fucking I'll read dumb. it. The tie-in to Court of Owls sounded interesting. Yeah. Uh, so how you guys doing? Pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. What did everybody do? Well, who's everybody? Oh, right. Everybody at the same time. Ready? Three, right. two, two, one. one. Oh, yeah, played a bunch of games. Oh, uh, that's, that's what, what you did. It's who we are. Yeah, we... Uh, you said, what did we do? No, forget it. You know You're what? an idiot. Fuck you. You're off the podcast. All right, I quit. All right. You're good. That fire. means we don't have to pay you I'm severance because you quit. <laughs> <laughs> he quit. We don't have to pay him severance, guys. <laughs> good. This is great. And he's coming back, so we're going to pay him less. I, I, it wasn't a formal resignation. I didn't hand in a letter. It's, so it's on I'm, recording. No, nope, it's on nope. recording. So it's a we got verbal, verbal. We got uh, uh, um, no judge in the country would would uh, back you. Judge Judy would start yelling the shit out she of you. It, it was she, not written. Judge Judy would tell you not to pee on her leg and tell her it's raining. <laughs> That's what she would do right now. She's. N- She's a real judge who makes a lot of fucking money. Who's really in the golden showers. <laughs> and also that. Yeah, that's... Fuck. Is that true? That's her book. <laughs> Hold on. Her book is called Don't Pee yeah. On... Don't Piss On My Leg and Tell Me It's Raining. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a book she wrote. It's wow. fucking awesome. Judge Judy's so cool. Uh, yeah, anyway, I guess we'll introduce. My name's Eric. Hey, Eric. I'm probably going to talk a lot, so I'm here. Walnuts is here. What's up? Christopher. Hey. Druton. Hi. And the special guest we promised last week, <laughs> Shahed. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that worked out well. Right? <laughs> I know. Man, that could have been a huge lie. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. That's the name of her book. Wow. Like Judy Scheinlin. That's weird. Weird. Yeah. Um, so we're all here. And we did stuff, I think. So what did everybody do? Druton, you start. All right. I played Helldivers. Yeah? Yeah, I'm up to like level six or seven or eight or something. Nice. I have that on my PlayStation, know where you're at. but I didn't buy it. Yeah, you so do. So I can't play it. Oh, uh, too bad. I was going to log in as you one day and play it. You should. I might. Do you log in as me, the and then log in as you on a second controller, and then log out as me, and you should probably still be able to play. Interesting. Interesting. I might I do think. that. Or you could just start playing and just let my character die constantly. Yeah, it's fine, too. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. That'll work. It's pretty cool. I like it. Make sure you get the achievement or the trophy for spinning around mm. on the, the deck of the ship I've 25 times. Yeah. Because cape physics. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. It's hard to put it to memorize the uh, the arrow combos. Mm-hmm. And as shit gets ridiculous, you kind of wish you had them memorized more than having to look down at what the arrow combo for the thing you're trying to call in is yeah. as you're getting shot from everywhere. Mm-hmm. I got crushed by the the uh, the escape jet thing once. There are the escape rocket. Yeah, that was fun. You can die by calling in like supply drops but, and shit. I mean, this was the get out of the level and the level oh, it landed drop on ship. You. It landed on That's me. even better. Wow. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Fortunately, when you're playing single player, you have automatic respawns but you can only have two ever at a time so i at least had one left and was able to just run into the ship Mm -hmm. but then there was one time i was playing multiplayer i think the drop ship crushed the last person left before we respawn he had thrown the respawn thing but the drop ship came in and crushed him 
and we didn't oh. get to respawn. That's I'm like, insane. no, we were at the end. Uh huh. They have to start all over. <laughs> yeah, we did. Did you That's cry? Fucked. No, not really. You cried. I have it. the mech suit. That thing is OP as shit. I did hear about that. It's fucking really cool. Yeah. I want to check the game out. Is this a free game? No, no. it's $15. Oh. It was the first game on spring sale. It was $1. ten less. Yeah. Oh. Woo. That's right. It's, it's cool, though. Sony spring sale it's, sucks this year. It, uh, it plays like uh, Dead Nation or any of those like top-down dual stick shooters. Okay. Yeah. So you're moving with the left stick, aiming with the right stick. I think it's by the Dead Nation guys. No, it's by the Magicka guys. Oh, that's right. That's why that's it has those, the arrow combo that's things right. for the call-ins. Yeah. I think the Dead Nation guys are working on another game, though. I don't know, whatever. But maybe that's the one I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Dead Nation guys have like an alien game coming or something like that. That's uh, what I remember, but that's yeah. what this is, too. That's why I was confused. That's right. But it's cool. Yeah. I haven't played any of the bug levels yet, which are like the super trooper okay. s- enemies. Right. You mean starship troopers. Or starship troopers, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Like, it's... Because there's robots, some other thing that they yeah. can cloak, and then the bugs. Right. And... I think the bugs were first, so you might have jumped in too late. Well, yeah, you can go any way at any time, but for whatever reason, the bug planet route is closed right now i guess it's maybe uh because a giant bomb did a quick look of it yeah and, and they just all the bugs the bug stuff con- they conquer yeah, areas so like and i don't know so that- far then it locks it out and then goes to the next section yes yeah. so i guess it makes sense it's kind of neat though yeah it's fun i've enjoyed it even playing single player yeah. it gets really tough yeah playing single player so i've enjoyed the multiplayer more mm-hmm Someone jumped us into a level 12 oh. level, and holy shit, that thing was crazy. Yeah. There was a fucking tank. We had no idea what to do to this tank. Like a tank? Like, like a tank tank. A tank tank. Not yeah. like a monster tank. No. Okay. It ran us over. Oh, God. Or at least it ran the last person did, over. Did you drop bombs on its treads to blow them up? No. There were too many other things to try for anyone to try to do anything. Did you... Other than run and Jump die. on the hatch. Jump... Up yeah. on it, open the hatch, and drop a grenade no, in there. There's no jumping. There is. You there, just have to find it. There, there's, a, there's a jump. You can jump. If you can spin your cape, you can fucking jump. No, you can just you spin, spin around. cape enough, you start to fly. <laughs> that would be cool. You can land on it and then open the hatch. Do or do not, there is no try. No. No, I'm, jump. no, no I mean, no, you don't. No, there is no do You don't no, jump. You don't do no, it. No, there's a jump. No. 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 Uh... That's what I've mostly played. I've played some NHL, played some Hearthstone. Started playing WWE Supercard again because WrestleMania is today. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah. WrestleMania. But you're going to watch Walking Dead instead, right? No. I'm like, going like, to go watch yes, WrestleMania. Tonight, WrestleMania. Yes. Tonight. <sighs> that's so dumb. Bet The Walking Dead gets more uh, viewing. It will. Um, and that's, um, it, that's the thing. You're right. It's, it's, it's going to be air. close. It's up in the air, but it's stupid. It's like, why would you fight for it? Why wouldn't you just push it back a week? You know? Uh, it was... <clears throat> Probably ske- WrestleMania was scheduled two years ago. Okay, yeah, they, uh, all those things get yeah. scheduled pretty far in that's advance right, because they have to arena book the arenas and, and all. And yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I get it, but that's that's a lot. Yeah, well, Walking Dead's not worried. I'm sure it's the same no. thing like um, <laughs> GDC and PAX last week. Like, yeah, PAX probably wasn't scheduled that many years in advance, but GDC was probably scheduled like, three or four years out. Uh, yeah, at maybe. least like the date it falls on I yeah. believe it's scheduled pretty far but PAX made a mistake they didn't mean to schedule that weekend uh, yeah. PAX has been so. doing that a lot because at MAGFest this year PAX South was also scheduled the same day and MAGFest yeah. was scheduled first PAX South is brand new so yeah. that was again just one of those things like oversight they're like yeah let's do that oh, I mean, while MAGFest is pretty big I don't think it ranks as high as like GDC does compared to PAX well no like, but GDC is also like the, developers yeah well that's what, what, what I was, go, what I was trying to say was the fact that like <laughs> PAX ended up suffering losses of not having yeah. developers there because GDC was running. I don't yeah. think MAGFest and PAX really compete in that way. Where like well, they, they, they compete in the fans, though. Yeah, you know, they, the they, fans, and they but, actually had a competition there because they were like, well, we're going to stream stuff from PAX here. Because no one's going to be able to go to PAX South, so we're going to stream stuff. They work with PAX, I believe, or something like that. And there was like a competition, which I didn't even know where it was, that like you play a game and whichever, if you had the higher score in your convention, then your score would go up against the higher score in the other convention, and the winner would get something, uh, and the rights of the better convention. 
It was but, like pretty cool. But. The actual uh, t- number of people who w- had to make the choice to go to one or the other, l- l- like realistically, was probably very small. Based Maybe. on the distance between them, yes, like I get that, but it's like, still one of those things. Like a major convention doesn't want to yeah. come up against another no, no, major convention. Agreed, but and like normally, how many know, people from Phoenix were going to go to Magfest anyway? I don't know, but you never know. Jordan, there could be a lot of fucking people. A dude from fucking Italy went to Magfest. Uh, I'm not saying it's zero, but how many? Like, yeah, I mean, generally, I'm sure the people that are at Magfest are generally. Within, say, a six-hour drive of... I mean, that's a generally... You don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the I'm, thing. I mean, is, that's a question nobody here can fucking yeah, answer. Yeah. Right. I, I can't, so it's not even like... Like, you answering that doesn't prove a point, and him not having an answer for it doesn't prove yeah. a point. It's who fucking knows. I mean, do you know how many, many is, attend, how many attendees MAGFest gets? I like, don't do they know announce how, that? I don't... I don't know. I haven't... I mean, I'll look at I, mean, I, I, I know a lot of conventions. Neither, like, oh, neither con now. got hurt attendance-wise by the overlap. No, is but what it's, yeah. it's, it's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no, yeah, nobody lost out. It's not like, oh, this one had, you know, suffered losses, but it's just one of those things like Whereas, usually these fests, these, these big ones anyway, it's not like Geek Fest next, next weekend where they're up against the Philadelphia Comic-Con. Like, that doesn't matter because Geek Fest is a very small thing. They're not going to, you know, nobody's going to worry about what they're doing. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like PAX and MAGFest, MAGFest has been going on for years at this same date every year. And yeah. PAX South Ma- brand new. MAGFest changed yeah, MAGFest dates. Changes, right, well, yeah. whatever. Who cares? Uh, regardless, it's MAGFest has been going on for a long time, and PAX South is its first year. So it's just one of those, it's an oversight. They've yeah. made an oversight, and they'll try to fix it next year, I'm sure. But it fucking happens, and it's just yeah. one of those things. But it's, and, like... To real quick step, like I can't say how many from each state, but if I were to show you my spot passes on my 3ds, all my Hawaii's and Canada's and and Western U.S. and European countries, all for Magfest. Right. So like people from all over go to it. I can't say how many, but it's like there there might have been a little bit of a well, do I want to go to Pac South or do I want to go to Magfest? They likely just picked Ma- Pac South yeah. because it was closer. It's the but idea with the still multiple packs is, is to give you a region for you to go to. Not you don't have to go to all of them. It's like, hey, here's the one closest to you. You should go to it. And but unfortunately, it ran against a fairly well known, you know, major convention, Magfest. Yeah, That's I mean, the, the only issue, the it's bigger issue, issue was the GDC yeah. packs <laughs> overlap because yeah. there were developers who paid for PAX booths mm-hmm. who were like, I fucking can't go. Yeah. I'm at GDC. This is one of the smaller ones where, like, maybe they only had five people. Yeah. yeah. Like, I GDC is more important to get this game seen by people yeah. than PAX is. And I can drive to GDC. I have to fly to Boston to get there. And so that yeah. was a bigger issue yeah. with having those two overlap. Yeah. Still- Which, was there actually overlap between them? <clears throat> Uh, I Other think than like one, one half a like day, day or something like that, it was yeah, like a was, day, but it was just commitment. Yeah, wasn't it kind of you know? like like basically like breakdown setup days were yeah, uh, I were think overlap. There's like the thir- was, the th- like the day. Thursday was the last day of GDC See. and like the setup day for PAX or yeah. something like that. Yeah, but I I know I was hearing them talk about on Giant Bomb there were just empty booths at PAX yeah. because people couldn't get there. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. They also had 80 feet of snow. <laughs> and, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And, the, I mean, outside of just the overlap, yeah. the travel issues caused by yeah. weather. So it's just, all I'm getting is there's a lot of overlap and they should fix it. So Yeah. There. yeah. Anyway. I think MAGFest should, I don't know why they, was there a reason they switched their dates? Do you know? Uh, no, they just did. And they moved it from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to Monday, to, or s- Friday to Monday. So they were just they, they screwed up. I think I don't know why they changed it. That's weird. You know, it, it might have it was probably it could, had to do with scheduling. Yeah, the, the the, convention. probably the hotel that they book at probably was already booked for the weekend they wanted, or the pricing that the the hotel wanted for that weekend went up. Yeah. I, I think what it is the latter they, is probably actually a pretty good explanation. Yeah. Or I think it's like they usually have like this whole like winter setup at the Gaylord during that time of year. Uh-huh. And it wasn't set up at the time of MAGFest this year. So I'm thinking they might have even just been like, hey, instead of having all this winter stuff, why don't you just wait a couple weeks and there's no more winter hell and well, you you can have the whole place to yourself. It used to be New Year's weekend, right? Yeah, it, yeah 
two years ago, and every year before then, it was New Year's weekend. You know, though, so, I, I know, like, Katsu had a lot of issues with the hotels in that area as far as, like, the amount of money, like, the hotels, like, kept upping how much they wanted for, like, that particular weekend, and... Yeah. They were getting... going to. Especially yeah, if you're there for so long, they're like, hey, you can get more money out of you guys. Ha uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, that, that could have been in. It. It's like, <clears throat> well... You you want a very popular weekend. We have a bunch of stuff already trying to get booked that weekend that'll pay yeah. more. Um, so and it's cool. of course it's a popular weekend. We fucking made it popular. Yeah, yeah cause, I mean that's why Katsu good. changed well, their hotel what yeah, three I'm times well. in the span of four years. Yeah, I mean it's New Year's weekend. Hotels are usually pretty booked on yeah. New Year's weekends, especially so. in a big city like that. Yeah, but then the, the, the funniest part was this year they overbooked the hotel for Magfest. So they had a hotel actually, misstep, like the hotel it was up in the booking. hotel. Yeah, the hotel overbooked, and they had to send out emails to about two hundred. I think it was 200 booked rooms. So knowing a convention, that's probably about 1,000 people at least uh, saying, hey, you guys don't have a room. We're going to set you up in this other room and give you free parking every day, though. But you guys don't have a room. <laughs> so it kind of sucked. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, uh, conventions are goofy. Yeah. What else did you do? Anything? Uh, nope. No. But I don't think I've really done anything else. Are Been you, watching a lot of wrestling you, this week. Are you going to get dressed up for yeah. your wrestling yes. tonight? Yes, <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's right. Right. No, um, uh, Kevin Owens. I'll I'll pull up. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll Chromecast the picture over. Fine, Richie's yeah. got, got it. Him. But uh, so I'm actually going to go get a haircut afterwards. Oh, nice. And his, I mean, he wears the most. He's the most generic dude yeah. there is. And I'm like, he's not the yes guy, right? No, no, that's Daniel Bryan. Okay, this is a newer guy. Okay, who's even? Oh, this dude. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Like, and his ring gear is just that shirt, black shorts, and black boots. Nice. So I'm just gonna get long black socks. You need to. You need to draw on the Taurus. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing I, I need to do. He has the one tattoo there, and then he has a tattoo on the inside of his left arm that says "Evil." But the the L is backwards, so it's live evil. Uh, I get That's, it. It's a pretty cool tattoo. Yeah, you can't quite see it in that picture. But yeah, like he has the yeah. most generic. That's look. Kinda, you don't quite have the facial hair going. It's it's almost there, but yeah. whatever. That's. That's two months after debut Kevin Owens. When he debuted, his full beard wasn't as long. Is that little kid Kevin Owens, too? <laughs> that, I don't know. Nah, he's got a daughter. That's his first, like, so I'm going to get the whole, like, buzz cut and yeah. then spike up my hair. Nice. My okay. friend I whose see, house yeah. we're going to, he's dressing up as Macho Man. Nice. He dressed up as Hulk Hogan last year. Nice. I don't need to look up Macho Man, do I? Well, that's only to let no. you know that I, I went to a lot of stores on Friday looking for giant cans of pudding to bring to The Walking Dead tonight, and I couldn't <laughs> find any. That's fine. Really? I'm, I tried really hard. I went to Sam's Club, fucking BJ's, goddamn Walmart, shop right in Acme. Nobody has a giant fucking can of pudding. That's fine. I'm really making, upset. I, I, don't, I, I was willing to I... spend $20 of my unemployed money. <laughs> To bring a fucking can of pudding that we're never going to eat to your house. Why don't well, you we would eat, Why wouldn't, you, you should have sat here and just eaten out of the can of pudding. I would have. But seriously, it's can, It's pudding in a can. That sounds horrible. It'll probably be tinny. Do you yes. ever, did, did do you I, ever I, get pudding at like a, a restaurant or anything? I'm sure, no, I'm sure they get it out gross. of a can. No, they usually do, Did it. you never eat the pudding at Woodland Elementary? It's gross. I've eaten it. It's gross. That was pudding out of a can. <laughs> Yeah, okay, there you go. That's what I was looking for. I wanted it, dude. I wanted it so bad. Put it, go to put any it, elementary even school. Even like, pudding is still how, pudding, and it's awesome. Did, you I worked at a school, you been like, how much for a, a can of the pudding? <laughs> I'm not allowed in the school. <laughs> not allowed in the school. I have to work. I work in a separate building. I'm not allowed in the school. I get grilled by cops if I try to walk in. Really? Ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been told, so I don't go in. Go to Collingswood. No one will care. <laughs> yeah, you can just walk in the door right. there. All right. I, I know. I can't pull it up on Chromecast, but did your wife tell you what I'm making for tonight? Yeah, the cookies. I'm making Carol's cookies for tonight. Oh, so that's yeah. what I need, more oh. cookies after yesterday. But yeah, so dressing up for WrestleMania. It's always a fun time because it's our friend's birthday whose house we're going over to. Like, nice. I don't think it's exactly his birthday this year. Yeah. But it was Close a couple enough. years ago. Right. So they actually got like the little kids re- <laughs> WrestleMania or nice. wrestling birthday do- stuff and put yeah. it up on the walls and... It was. It's always fun going That's and hanging cool. out with them. Did you and Sean make predictions? Yes, <clears throat> our podcast went up this morning. Okay, so About our predictions time. are out there. 
nice. Well, if we had more thing. bandwidth, we would yeah. probably not record that much yeah, more frequently. Sean really, sucks. It doesn't really matter. I might re- just self-record <laughs> yeah. more Get frequently. Get Randall. I mean, we're in the or Randy. Sarah, once Sarah's recorded with us before. Yeah. I yeah. think next week we'll probably have both Sarah and Lauren on. Ridiculous. Because... They'll both be watching as well. They're going to be sitting there crocheting or something all the time. (laughs) God, wrestling sucks. (laughs) Or they'll just talk about how they're insanely afraid of the fact that both of us are driving. (laughs) Both me and Sean are driving now. Um, I'm pretty frightened myself. Yeah, I don't drive to your area now. (laughs) (laughs) Because you ever did before. Uh, Yeah, exactly. I mean, Little Caesars. No. Bacon pizza, man. Because Little Caesars isn't. Oh, I should just buy regular pizza from here that's good and add bacon to it. Yeah, because it doesn't have three feet of bacon. It doesn't have bacon why wrapping the pizza. Why don't you just buy a package of bacon, cook it, and then put Boom. it on a pizza? I mean, I could, but it's not Little Caesars bacon wrapped three feet of bacon pizza. But you could literally oh, wrap an entire good pizza in bacon. In you, good bacon, you should do the General Tso's pizza, where you just I, buy I, the package of General I mean, Tso's chicken and just. I'll Put do, I'll on do the general pizza. Sauce pizza. Uh, and if you get like a nice like hot pizza, it just goes right in there and yeah. it just sticks because it also has covered in corn syrup or whatever they have on it. Corn starch. Pretty good. So I'll do the general sauce. I've All been right. wanting to do it. Let's move on. Special yeah, guest shot head. What did you do this nerdily this past? So I've been playing two long. games that always cause me mild heart attacks. I don't expect to live um, till probably the end of the month. Yeah. Uh, so I got. Clocked in, I think, my 200th hour in Monster Hunter. Yes. <laughs> Too many hours. And uh, then I've also been playing Rogue Legacy, which starts out fun, and then it just gets really aggravating. After yeah. It's on New Game Plus 2. two. two. Plus Plus. <laughs> yeah. New Game Plus 2. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. I'm right there with you. I did not like the game at first. I was just too much. Yeah. I was like, you die every 12 seconds, and it's not fun. Well, I was um, okay with dying just to try out the classes and like uh, also get the, the early levels for like yeah. attack up and unlocking classes. But now it's like I'm not making enough money to get anything. Yep. And so now I'm going to have to start using the architect, which I've been trying to avoid. But then it's like, ah, no, I, I may as well that. just do the architect now. I've never used the architect once, ever. Well, maybe I'm not as good as you. Did you kill a boss yet? Uh, yeah, the big eye thing. Yeah, and I killed... I, I killed the eyeball, and I got less money than I did on the run before I killed the eyeball, <laughs> and I was really sad. <laughs> I was like, this is far. This is so depressing. Yeah, I might have gotten maybe like 2,500 gold at, from the eye, and yeah. then, if I don't know, if there's, there's like a Tron level, and if you go to the eye room, you get like the Tron eye, uh-huh. right, and you fight that, but it's like super powered. Yeah. So I usually just always make the mistake of going in there, because I always forget. Is that- where where are the, at the same rooms where the eye is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you have to find an item for oh. each boss that unlocks the Neo version of the boss. Okay. And then you can fight it. But there's no penalty for losing to it. Right. You just respawn back as your normal character. Oh, cool. So Yeah, because you play it as a specific character. Yeah. Oh, all right. And this is, this should be, I think, um, a video with the... Uh, the traitor, which is the last class you play, in order to unlock it, you have to beat all the bosses, beat the beat all the bosses, get all their items to fight the neo bosses, beat all the neo bosses, beat the game, and then you unlock the traitor. The- or you have to fight the traitor too, or something like that. He's like his special is like he throws either scythes or um, axes just all over the place, but they haven't used it. It's not really a special because <laughs> you get that. Move. But what is well, no, it's like it's not. It's like you hit it, and it's like seventeen of them go out at once. Oh. It looks like the All final the form of the knave or the assassin or whatever. So is it always probably knave? High crit with like low health or low defense. It, I I just I think it's just like super strong. I really don't know. I'll, I'll, no, yeah, this is the assassin. Yeah, it looks this like is the, the traitor. Yeah, it's the traitor video. It's supposed yeah. to be at least might, fast forward. Might be yeah. anyway. Unlock, yeah, whatever. So what else have you done? Um. Any? Uh, so while I play Monster Hunter or Rogue Legacy on the couch, my girlfriend plays Tales of Zelia two. Okay. Uh, first off, Tales of Zelia one was amazing. Yeah, this is it. And and this char- I think the characters are the best part of probably every Tales game. Yeah. Because and the character interactions, like the small, like you press the select button for sub events and they mm-hmm. start talking about the like random things. I I think a lot more games should do that more. Like, yeah, a chance to like 
talk to your characters yeah, more. It really shells out each character and like really gives them their own personality. Mm-hmm. And it's absolutely amazing. And I highly recommend playing Tales of the One. Tales of the Two is you basically need to play one to really enjoy the characters in because yeah. like so in one you beat the game and two you start this as this new character called Luger. Um, who's they? Who's the stereotypical silent protagonist that doesn't speak? Yeah. Which really pisses me, pissed me off like yeah. initially because the whole point of like why I enjoyed Tales in One was a big part was the character. So to yeah. have a character that you have to choose like the um, the dialogue for kind of mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah. Like, I got used to it after a while because they basically just reintroduced all the characters from one again in the span of like an hour. That's cool. And uh, yeah, it was it. So, basically, it, it kind of ignores the fact that he's a silent protagonist. However, what did piss me off, I found out, is uh, he act, he doesn't speak when you select the option. However, in New Game Plus, you can unlock his voice, which really, yeah, it really made me angry. That like, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, you have to beat the game to have him talk. Yes. Yeah. That's fucking that's really so bad. dumb. Uh, really, really depressing. Oh, Japanese games. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's a to add like more grinding grindiness to it is in a cheap way. Like I think like trophies are a cheap way to just add grindiness, but they added so like an hour or two into the game, you fucking get so the characters get hurt really bad, and then they need to be treated, and they get treated, and they wake up in a bar, and some guy is there, and he's like, oh, "I treated you." However, it costs twenty million gold, so you have to take out a loan to pay this man. And then over the course of the game, you have to pay off this loan. That's horrible. And and every like I don't know if it's scripted, but like every f- I think it's every time you get a certain amount of money, the loan agency calls you and asks for money, and you can choose to pay or not pay at that time. Uh, but it's still really annoying. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> fucking. She, dumb. Every now and then she'll just pop up. It's like it's time to pay your loan. It's like I just paid you. Like a, fuck your loan. Like my girlfriend just paid probably half like five million gold and. I think she's around 52 hours in God, the game. That's a lot of money. And you do unlock, like, items and stuff and, like, new clothing and things. <clears throat> right. But, man, it's, it's a re- like, I, it'd be really bad if loan agencies actually worked that <laughs> you're way. Like, you're like, hey, uh, we just saw you made $1,000. You want to pay yeah, your loan? $300? Oh. And <laughs> it was crazy how much, like, the loan agency controlled in the world because you couldn't take a train to, like, unless you paid a certain amount of money. Oh, like, God. Because, uh, yeah, they didn't want you, like, fleeing. The- yeah the country though i guess yeah i don't want to give any spoilers but yeah eh. it's, it's like you had to pay money to unlock bits of the game so like you, you uh and they they added like these sub jobs or side quests that you can do to make that process a little easier and, yeah but it's still damn annoying like, i don't i pay loans in real life i don't want to pay loans <laughs> yeah <laughs> seriously this this doesn't sound like a loan agency. This sounds like the mob. Yeah, yeah collections. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> racketeering, mm. fucking thing. Oh uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. Pay, you got to pay us for protection. I mean, I, if at the very least, like they made the loan tie into the story yeah. properly, like there's actually a reason behind why it happened that right. way. But oh, loans, man, they loans suck. are stupid. Yeah, dumb. Yeah, um, got the Final Fantasy Typo Collector's Edition. Shut up, like nobody I likes you. Do. I was buy games, but don't play them. I did play it though, and my god, the o- I don't know if you guys seen like the opening cutscene. No, I, was, I think I was on the verge of tears. Mm, that's what I've heard. Is that the like, Chocobo thing? Yeah. Yes. So didn't they release that like as like I a um, I, a teaser a couple of years ago when the game was still like a mobile game? I don't think so. Pro- I mean, maybe because I could have sworn I saw like something with like a Chocobo getting killed. No, M- maybe, but like it's like horribly depressing. The voice acting was like spot on, like. It sold that whole emo- emotional event like even more, and it, it so much blood I've never seen in a Final Fantasy. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, and I've heard it's all. I've heard it's all downhill from there. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to be on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> no, I mean downhill is in gameplay wise. Uh, the gameplay is sh- the uh, combat's all right, but otherwise the game is definitely a PSP game. Yeah. They're, they're already making FF Type One. Yeah, well, whatever. Because so many people wanted I mean, Typo. Ha- yeah, because everybody wanted Typo so bad, so they have to make a sequel so, to it. I mean, it's, it was on the PSP. They had to port it over. They had to work with what they had. Yeah, they, they didn't have to port it over. God they, damn they it. They could have just fucking it released I'm it. I'm not sure. Yeah. God <laughs> damn it. I, I'm not sure like, if there was like, a petition or something that brought it over. No, like, it was just... It, it, it took so long. They're it, just like, eh. No, they kind of just... It just never... They, they weren't going to release it in the U.S. There was never any like solid, like, hey, this is coming over here. Hmm. And then um, 
Yeah, I guess maybe there was something like people were like, "Hey, are you gonna bring it out?" Just, there was some drum, you know, people wanted it, but Square Enix actually went on record and said, "We didn't realize how how many people really wanted to play Final Fantasy Type Zero. We're really surprised about it." That was after they had announced the Final Fantasy Fifteen demo pack in. That's why people yeah. wanted the fucking game, dude. Was, Nobody wants this well, game. That was one of the, like my my biggest draws of getting it. That and like. I saw Ace's cards, and I think they look really cool, so I was like, I need yeah. this. And it wasn't that much more than, like, the actual game. It was, like, 30 bucks more. Yeah. And, like... I would have just preferred it to be, like, a Vita port oh, instead of been, a PS4 port. Been, it, I think it would play much better. Yeah. And I'm kind of pissed. Like, <laughs> we had this... Me and my girlfriend were... were she watch, We watch each other play games, and mm-hmm. she's sitting there, and she's like, man, I wish I could play Dale of <clears throat> right now, and then... I was going to get her, like, a, one of those DX racer chairs because she sits and yeah. studies all day, pretty much, and she needs a really comfortable chair. And she was like, instead of getting me that, why don't we just, like, put our money together and get a second TV for the living room and, like, and change <laughs> Another center. PS4. And I was like, I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. That's why I would prefer, like, I love when games come out. Like, I prefer when, especially these HD remakes, if they come out and I can get it on Vita, I'd prefer to. Mm. Even if you can just remote play, right? Well, Seriously, see, see, especially remote play, because it's just so much better to be able to play that and let Audra watch TV or we can watch TV and I can play this fucking mm-hmm. game. Because honestly, am I really that committed to playing Final Fantasy X again? No. But uh, do I like to play it? Absolutely. Am I glad I have it on Vita and not the PS4? 100%. Because mm-hmm. I don't fuck it, or PS3 at the time but i'm so much happier that i have it on my vita because i can just pick it up and play whenever the fuck i want instead of like all right well uh we're done watching tv now because i said so because it's time to fucking play games yeah i'm actually kind of regretting getting it on ps3 because like i'm sitting there and playing blitzball mm-hmm. and, and it's blitzball. horrible and then there was like this awkward moment where i was doing the 200 lightning dodge mm-hmm. thing and eventually because like the, there's like when on the hd screens like that little slight delay with between the the visual and like the actual input Yep. And my God, I was getting so mad. Mm-hmm. And my girlfriend was there just sitting me watching me do this. Well, she was also, I think, studying a bit. Yeah. And I had to actually go pull out my monitor and connect my monitor to my PS3, put it on the floor, sit point blank to the screen. So my my, uh, <laughs> my eye was like at the corner of the yeah. screen. So I was just paying attention to the flashes that were happening. And yeah, I think there's actually a picture of this on Facebook. I'm gonna try I think it. I've seen that. Yeah, you're right. That's, I didn't know what was going on, but I think I saw it. Yeah, that's so mad. <laughs> uh, Dude, your Facebook is just how was, trophies. How was Final Fantasy 15? Like, did you play it? No, uh, I don't even buy the fucking You're the game. only person that's gotten to play it. Okay. Well, my guy. I asked them for a review code, and they wouldn't give me one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking assholes. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, it's... it's All right, it's... Where do I begin? It's wonderful. It's amazing. Just let me know when I can log into your account like, so I can play it. <laughs> I promise you. I mean, we'll put it on here. I don't have Get time it down for here. that. Yeah, that's right. It's like a six gig download. Um, so, all right. Obviously, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, the characters are all bros. Yeah. Like not like New Jersey sore bros, no, but they're, like they're, they're bros. They're they're bros together. Like fist bump. Like make fun of each other. Mm-hmm. They're very talkative. Very aware of the environment, which I think is absolutely amazing. So, like, you get, um, so you're in this huge world, you're running around, there's all monsters are all, all in the field, and you, they'll make you aware of it. Like, oh, there's this, this giant sheep thing that mm-hmm. if you attack it, all other giant sheep things will attack you. So, you probably don't want to attack this giant sheep thing. And, uh, fuck it, attack the giant yeah. sheep thing. <laughs> um, of course, like, I still hate how all these JRPGs, the hair is always perfect. Like, the first scene is, 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 is noxious. Them doing their hair? No. no. That would be, I would actually like that. <laughs> at sense. one point, it would be bad hair. But no, they wake up from, they're in all in a tent. They wake yeah. up, and they're all really close to each other, and like, jumbled up, and there's no way that hair could have been like that. Like, they don't, they, they need this a, is my hair when I wake like up. Bed it's head. like, fucking whatever. Like, yeah. no, there's no way. So, JRPGs. Yeah. The hair was perfect. Um, the characters are all very unique. You got like this little Zell type character. From they all have the dumbest fucking eight. names though. Noctis. What is the other one? Noctis, Prompto. Prompt. Ah, Gladiola. Gr- Gladiolus. Or I think it's Gladius. Gladio. Gladio. It's Glad- either Gladio or Gladiolus. Yeah. And uh, fucking the, the nerdy guy's name. Hmm. 
Jeff. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's another. God, it's, I wish it was Jeff. I- igneous or something. Oh, igneous. Yes. Igneous. It, do you it, change their names or do they? No, say no. no. They are the worst them. fucking names ever, though. Prompto. Seriously, you might it's be able so to dumb. change knock no, night. No, probably you can't because they're all going to say Noctis or yeah. call well, well, they're calling him like Your Highness and stuff. True. Um, <laughs> all right, so it's a beautiful game. It has a very nice quest, you know, tracking system. So mm-hmm. you get a sub quest, and I think each day random sub quests appear mm-hmm. uh, depending on I guess random events. Like I was just running through, and all of a sudden it says find a chocobo, mm-hmm. and I'm like. Where is there a chocobo? So I just keep running, and all of a sudden, there's, I hear a, like a que, mm-hmm. and this black, majestic chocobo starts running around and, mm-hmm. and just hanging out, and then the quest was over. Yeah. But, you know, it was a really cool experience, because I've never seen a chocobo in such detail, like the ruffle, the feathers. Yeah. Also, it was a black chocobo, which, which really surprised me, because usually I see black just chocobos the standard Black chocobos are yellow. mountain yeah. chocobos. That, made, that would make sense, because I was in like a mountainy area. Mm. Um, Did you get Ramu? I did get Ramu, but I didn't like. I stopped at that point. Um, you had to use him. No, I, I didn't. Even, I stopped just then because, like, die. my girlfriend doesn't want to. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to die. You have to die, and, and then, then he'll he'll come down. I saw the video online. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, like you have to die to get yeah. to use his summon. He when you are at zero HP, Ramu will save mm. your day. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's really weird, fucking, but it's that's cool. Really fucking pretty. Mm. So I wonder, are you gonna only be able to have one summon at a time, or? I don't know. I'm sure. Now it looks like you kind of. It's kind of like Final Fantasy X, where you went through some sort of maze or dungeon to get like the summon. Okay. It's kind of like a similar deal here. I mean, thirteen, you can only have one at a time because each, each character each had character their own specific their own. summon. Oh my god, that I don't know if I should like talk about the experience of getting him because my god, there were some bits in there because you're yeah. going through this cave, and you know, like the first goblin you ever fight in Final Fantasy One. Yeah. Or, it, you basically encounter them. That's awesome, and it's amazing. And there's like scenes where you're going through, and you're if you're you're going through like two walls that are really close together, sliding through a cave, which is really claustrophobic. Yeah. And like at one point, there's all these there's like these tiny goblins you only see ahead of you, so, so to your right. And all of a sudden, you see these yellow eyes pop up, like mm-hmm. like three sets of them. And all of a sudden, you see these giant like little goblins coming out, and you're like halfway through in between these walls, so you have to like run. To, in the opposite direction to get mm-hmm. out before the goblins come at you and then you fight the goblins which the combat system is really chaotic mm-hmm. like uh so you can teleport all around um you can counter moves um uh when like a certain icon pops up and basically how to just do your generic attacks you just hold square mm-hmm. and noxus will, will either if you're just holding square and not targeting anything he'll just hit, hit the closest enemy and further away um all right and then if you target him he'll just go for those it's and his weapons transform at each move he does and you can like pick which weapon you, he uses for which situa- uh, situation so yeah. like if you're fighting like a bunch of goblins you probably for your ravager like your main comboing attack you probably want like a great sword that has a huge arc which mm-hmm. so it has like really good um like this strategy elements to this but man is it goddamn chaotic like you lose track of yourself a lot, mm-hmm. you, especially when you teleport. Um, the camera is kind of like all over the place. Enemies are very mobile, from what I've seen. Yeah, they're very fast. Yeah. They move quite a bit. Uh, also, you do too. You can teleport too, which isn't a big deal. Yeah. But um, then, like your characters go down, and it's hard to know where they're at. Mm-hmm. So, like you gotta like run around, try to like help them up. Um, oh my god! Like the. <laughs> At one point, you have to fight a behemoth, mm-hmm. and my god, is that the sca- Like, I was legitimately terrified trying to do this, because, like, they come up with this strategy to take this thing out, and mm-hmm. you have to, like, teleport in one direction and another direction and lead it to something, and I couldn't do it properly. I was too nervous. The behemoth kept just... It just jumped on me, mm-hmm. and you know how, like, you have that moment of invulnerability when you get hit and, like, are knocked over? Yeah. Not, not in this game. Like, no. you're still... He's still, like, smacking you on the ground, <laughs> like... And you're like freaking out, and you can't do anything about it. And then when you're really injured, you start limping really, like, like you, you, the characters really look like they're in pain. And ah, it's just, it was a really fun game. I hope like the 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 combat. I think I heard that you can change the camera speed to at least improve that a bit. But yeah, combat's really chaotic. It's something I could get used to definitely. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good stuff with. That and the game. demo probably threw you like 
couple hours into the actual game. So it probably like eases you in in the beginning of the game rather than just like here you go, go find Ramu. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So yeah. I mean, uh, Noctis starts at what level one in the demo? Everybody else is like level ten. I, yeah. Or, well, the, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Two, the two guys who are the more experienced of the crew like seems seemingly in age as well. Right? Yeah. A higher so level than you and Igneous. Prompto's younger. Yeah, Prompto's younger. Mm-hmm. So you guys are like lower level. It makes and, sense. And you don't get your level ups until you... You camp. You camp. And you make food. You make dinner. Yeah, it's, it looks oh my so God. good though, right? Yeah. I was, I was sitting there so like, dude, I need to make this beef curry that they have here. This is amazing. <laughs> the food looks so yeah, good. It looks like real. It's almost yeah. as if they took a real photo. Well... I think it's, be- no, it's better in real it's, life. It's on their Luminous engine. And Luminous is supposed to be hyper photorealistic. That was the whole point it, behind the engine. Oh, Luminous, yeah. yeah. Is, uh, wasn't 14 done on that too? No. No. But, uh, it was... Uh, they announced the Luminous Engine, then they showed the Agnes Philosophy video, That's and right. then Agnes Philosophy was revealed to be, like a year later, was revealed to be Final Fantasy 15 slash versus 13, so, uh, but... Uh, oh, it has related to 15? Agnes Philosophy? Agnes Philosophy is Final Fantasy 15. Huh. So if, if you go and Google the Agnes Philosophy, all that stuff, like, you'll see all these characters and stuff, and then watch the Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 reveal trailer, yeah. same characters in the thing. It's um, all the same stuff. It was just like an early reveal of like, hey, look at what we can do on the Luminous engine. Oh, by the way, this is Final Fantasy 15. Mm. So yeah, I remember that. I remember they had like a golf ball. They were putting it through this dude's beard, and it was just like yeah. his hair was like flowing about. Luminous engine's fucking sweet. Yeah. So. Uh, it definitely looks wonderful. And there's a lot of like picture-perfect moments in the game. The lighting is just like fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, Fantasy yeah. with reality. Mm-hmm. That's what they're going for. Yeah, it's, they're doing a really good job with that. Yeah. And cool. Yeah, I really into. I'm excited. Cool. I will get a collector's edition if there is one. Me too. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just my life. Definitely. All right, let's go on. Christopher, you probably read a comic book or two. Uh, yeah, I read a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I have all these digital ones that I haven't read in months that I'm trying to catch up on before uh, the Marvel ends. Universe ends. Before everything. Before ends. everything gets spoiled for you. It's yeah. not. It's not even get spoiled. It's just. It's one of those. There are a few things in that are coming out in Secret Wars that I kind of want to read. Yeah. No. So I just want to try and catch up on all the books that might like be in that. Like the the Spider Island stuff looks interesting. Yeah. Because uh, Peter dies during Spider Island in that universe, and Flash has to be the hero. Weird. Yeah. Um, I forget what else there was. Uh, Civil War looks like it could be interesting. Yeah. A bunch of those weird like rehashes of old stories. That's, seem intriguing. This is one of those events where I'm more than happy with getting all the digital versions. Not. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna buy buying half physical. There, there's too many things. I don't have enough space for that shit. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I was reading Amazing X Men. Yeah. Which is definitely a good X Men book. It's not as convoluted and ridiculous. It's just them doing shit. It's impossible. It's an X Men book. Well, I mean, uh, of course, but you know. You you don't have sons and daughters coming from the future to like stop their parents and shit. Not yet. Well, it's en- <laughs> it, it ends next month. Well, if it wasn't ending, you know where it would be going. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> next next month it's Colossus versus the Juggernaut. Yeah, they're like, we have to end it before it gets ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I played Majora's Mask more. Yeah. That's the only game I've been playing. Nice. It's a fun game. Did you get to the rape scene yet? The what? I don't know. There's like a thing in there where there's like some child abuse stuff. It's all kind of like subliminal messaging because the director is really fucking weird. Now, I'm between the second and third dungeons. Yeah. Because there's a bunch of stuff you can do between the two of them. Weird. But I'm kind of lazy and because... So every time you reset time, you basically reset the dungeon. Yeah. If you if you beat it. Yeah. So when you beat the second dungeon, it brings spring to the one area. Mm-hmm. And you need it to be spring in order to go do, like, the next bit of stuff to move on. Mm-hmm. And I didn't do, like, I re- I was running out of time. So I reset time after I finished that dungeon. And now I have to go back and do the dungeon over. Yeah. So I've just been doing a bunch of, like, side stuff. So I don't want to redo that dungeon because that do, dungeon fucking sucked. You should do less side stuff. The boss was really easy. Did, did you, you play less? the old one? Like, on 64? I own it. And I remember turning it on at least twice. But I was 14 and didn't like that whole, you know, three days to do stuff and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So I, I never, I know I never beat it on the 64. I think I maybe got through the first dungeon. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, uh, I've never played Ocarina of Time, but like I played the, 
or on on the 64, but I played it on the 3DS, and I thought it was like really crisp and well done. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if like that was just how so, it was. It's not. So it <laughs> no. back in no. ninety, not, not the crispness, but the gameplay was very smooth. So it back was, in ninety eight, it was a really good game as far as like looks and smoothness. Mm-hmm. But if you go back and play that, like either of them now, they're not so much. No. But Nintendo managed to somehow. They made the game smoother. They tweaked certain things. Like, I know the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time is apparently way easier than it used to be. I don't remember what it People used to be. People might just be saying that because they thought it was the hardest thing in the world when they were 12. I do remember I, I, I do <laughs> remember know? reading yeah. somewhere that they did tweak a few things in the Water Temple. Like, they yeah. removed some enemies or they made certain mechanics work differently. Um, but th- they managed to, like, the game kept its visual style, but they made everything look better than it would if you went back and looked at... Like, N64. Mm. Like, I don't know a better way to really describe it. I've tried. We tried playing the N64 Ocarina of Time, and it gave us all migraines. So, it's, uh, yeah. What I've heard people say is, they've made these look and play like you remember them looking and playing, not like they actually look and play like. Didn't mm-hmm. Dan say that on Giant Bomb? Uh, Dan or somebody. Been saying, yeah, somebody yeah. Said, like, That's like the best way to, to describe it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, It's what you would think it would have looked like on the N64 mm-hmm. through like that like haze of nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. I, I've also heard that um, like some bosses or like, I think there's like one giant fish or something, they tweaked the controls well, or a bit. So they that. tweaked all the bosses for the for Majora's Mask anyway. Yeah. Um, they made them not necessarily easier, but they made it more straightforward on how to defeat them. Well, I think the the problem was back then. And I can't, can't like I, I never played, so I'm not sure. But like, it was there were difficult bosses because the gameplay was bad. Like for that, like using well, whatever item you needed to use, like a bomb to get this fish out of the water or whatever, was that's uh, probably the Zoro boss, which I'm not at yet. Yeah. I did. Um, it, I basically I've done the the far the swamp boss, which is essentially your forest temple, mm. and um the the uh, mountain boss so the the gorons um but from what i i've seen back on the n64 like those bosses like they didn't have a a designated thing for you to know how to fight them you just kind of had to run around and hope you figured it out now that like you know how anytime you play like a zelda game at, recently anyway when you get to the boss there's that like quick little cinematic and they kind of show you their weak spot mm. They do that, and they have a very obvious weak spot now. It's usually like a big, almost like Shadow of the Colossus, where they have like those big like crystal areas. Mm. The, the bosses all have basically button, like multicolored buttons on them, so you know what the best spot to hit them is. Yeah. So the first boss is this giant um, voodoo ske- skeleton creature thing in the the swamp temple, and I forget exactly what you have to do to get them down, but it was something simple. Like you had to, um, oh, you had to hide in the plants as a Deku shoot up above him and drop uh, seeds on his head because the, the bulb was on the top of his head. Mm. And it's pretty straightforward because when you walk into the map, you're already in the temple where that's what you had to use the most. That's the mask you had to use the most. And there's the little flowers that boost you in the air all around it. And then they show you that the thing's on the top of his head. So it's like, okay, so I have to get over him and drop something on him. Yeah. It's like- and then once he falls down, you just switch back and slash him with the sword a bunch. Yeah, it's like the in Wind Waker with the dragon sitting on top of the mountain. They zoom in on great. his tail. Yeah. It's just to say, like, oh, you should probably do shit with his tail. And smack down that, whatever, that scorpion thing You'd be thing hook on his tail. Yeah. But yeah, if, drops if you, the fucking thing. If you want to play those games, definitely get the, the handheld versions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I have the Ocarina of Time for it, GDS. Majora's Mask is a lot of fun. Just, I mean, when you go into it, no, right, because they don't really tell you unless you talk to the right person. Um, as soon as you, you're able to control time, play the song of time backwards. Hmm. It slows down time. It, yeah, it slows down time. Oh, nice. They don't. Most of the songs in the game, you don't have to be told what they are. It seems like you can just play them if you know them. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I know there, there's three variations to the song of time. There's the normal song of time that sets you back to the dawn of the first day. There's a reverse song of time that just slows down time. And then there's the double song of time, which you hit each note twice in a row. Mm. Um, and that lets you pick any hour in the day that you're currently at. So, or in, up to the dawn of the next day. So, like, if you're at the dawn of day one, you can jump right to dawn of day two because there's those weird events that only occur on certain days at certain times. Like, in order to get the, the giant bomb bag, you have to, it's like the n- midnight on the first night, you have to be in the certain part of the town when the old lady's coming through and she gets mugged. And you stop the mugger and then she gives you the giant bomb bag. Mm. I think I saw a cool video where, like, 
this guy um he played like gerudo valley and stuff with the instruments in the game by just like switching between the mass like, like, huh. like the zero mass. yeah because you have um every every mask that actually transforms you you get a different um instrument instrument so link with just like himself he has just ocarina the deku has like this windpipe thing that gets a bunch of uh horn things that come out of it so it plays different tunes and the the goron gets um drums i don't know what the zora will get yet because i haven't gotten that mask yet mm. probably a harp I probably that, a that makes guitar. the most sense a guitar some sort of stringed instrument would make sense for it it's weird Better be an electric guitar. Plugs it into an yeah, amp. That'd be amazing. Just like underwater. <laughs> Shredding, right? It'd be so good. Dude, the, the, um, the Goron powered, mask is the uh, best, though. Because you, you can turn into like a ball the way they do and roll around like Sonic. Yeah. And like as you roll, if you pick up speed, you start using your magic power. Because you grow spikes and you can just run shit over. Lame. That's how the one boss fight works for, for that temple. You're in a big track, basically, and it's like this bull thing that's running in a circle. And you just have to roll up in a ball and chase him and hit a ramp and like land on him at the right time. Mr. Dunkless. Yeah, you do that like twice and he falls over and then you attack him a bunch and then you chase him some more and then attack him a bunch. We're It's a fun boss fight. Yeah. Mm. Neat. Yeah. I watch a bunch of TV too, but... Yeah, TV's dumb. I don't know. S.H.I.E.L.D. was fun. S.H.I.E.L.D. was fun. Yeah. I need to start watching that. I, I like you what they're setting to. up for next... I like what they set up for next week. I don't like what they're setting up. I hate these well, people. I mean, I don't like it, but I like... I like it. The, I like, the it's bald guy. exciting. The bald guy. What was he in? He was in... He's the- in Walking Dead. The, the, in Walking from, from the council, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was in The Walking Dead. He was in Walking Dead. He was um part of the governor's um second... That's it. You're right. Village. Yep, that's it. I knew I recognized him. I recognized everybody else on that no, show, too. When I was watching it, I actually ended up messaging Vogel, because I know he had, he was watching it, too. Yeah. Uh, or he had watched it, like, earlier. I'm just like, hey, were they the people from Avengers that Fury was talking to? Because they all look so freaking familiar. Oh, yeah, no, they're not. And, like, he responded, he's like, no, no, they're, um, the lady was in something, the bald guy was in Walking Dead, like, they've just all been the in recent stuff. The black girl was in S.H.I.E.L.D., was yeah, she in she Shield? Was in, yeah, remember when she, they were at the academy? Yeah. Shield right, academy. She right. Was, she's the only one who's actually been in Shield before. The old guy was in Dexter. The, the bald guy was Walking Dead. Right, he was Dexter. That's yeah, it. And there was one other person. I forget who the other person. Yeah, they all looked. They all looked familiar. I'm just like mm-hmm. these guys. That's why I thought they were from. I didn't know if they were the council from Avengers. Yeah, that's. I thought that yeah. too at first. And, and then, like, then oh, when he said that, I'm like, no, yeah, you're right. That makes yeah. sense. It just it makes me worried. Are, are any of them Hydra or not? Maybe. Like you never fucking that, know. That's going to be the big reveal. Yeah, find out be... soon enough. New Shield is, is Hydra. Gonna, is there going to be another coup? That there happens? is no coup. Shield is Shield. Hydra is New Shield. Maybe I don't know. It's fucking cool. Because Hydra kind of went under the water after a certain point. Underwater. Nice. Well, not under. Mm-hmm. The, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll take it. I'll take nice. it. They I'll went underwater. It. No, yeah. there was. I was at work this week. There was somebody who uh, I had to email, and they emailed me back. And their headliner was uh, I can't even remember how to say her first name, but it was something like Tanika <clears throat> Tangy in parentheses Johns. And I email one of my coworkers. I'm like, I, I would want, I would not want Tangy Johns dealing with my, uh, my, my taxes. And he's mm. like, Oh, that's gross, dude. I'm like, I wasn't even thinking of Tangy John. I was just <laughs> thinking of somebody unprofessionally naming themselves Tangy. That's like, gross. Names that's are ridiculous. Gross. Anywho, I hate Bobby. She's the worst. She's a traitor. Hunter's way too cool. I do like Hunter. He's way too cool. I like cool. how he managed to break out of this I know. thing. He is way too cool. I've grown way too attached to his character. He's probably going to die by the end of this Oh, season. yeah. He doesn't have much longer to go. No, which is really disappointing. Uh, I don't know what this is. at The Rock? <laughs> this is The happened. Rock. Why is this important right now? <laughs> Evan just sent it to me. Why does he have the same bull tattoo as that guy that Druton's going to dress up as tonight? <laughs> oh, man. man, that guy must have gotten his tattoo. They're different bull tattoos. No, it's the same thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, do you know anything else, Cobb? Uh, I watched Flash. That was fun. I didn't watch Flash. Flash was... I kind of like how they... I, I was curious how they were going to do that because it was so different. Yeah. I feel yeah. bad, though, that like Barry felt like, like it was his fault. But yeah. really, like he saved Cisco whether he got beat up or not. Yeah. Cisco was dead the week before. But he doesn't know that. Yeah. So, I mean... It was his fault that that happened, but it was also his fault that he's still there. And it's, like, a lot of shit that happened this week is because he... Changed everything. Did did change everything. Like, he... Iris or no. 
and they would have feelings for each other finally again if he didn't change everything. And but then Iris's dad would probably be dead. And did you see the um the photo from the finale? No. It it it's um the reverse Flash standing with his back to the camera, and then it's Firestorm Flash with his um thing off and Arrow, but Arrow's wearing like a League of Assassins get up. Okay. All getting ready to I guess fight reverse, reverse Flash. Reverse Flash. Which I'm not really sure how the other two can really help. Well, I mean, at least yeah. Arrow. I mean, he's kind of useless. He can shoot arrows. Yeah, ar- he can arrows shoot really useless. fast though. But a uh, firestorm could probably like create fire around that he might not be able to get through, even though he's faster than the Flash. Uh, who knows? You'll we'll see. Too yeah, bad because I still kind of like Wells. Yeah, it's like like you're, he, he's a villain, but he's likable. Yeah, he's a likable villain. It's it's the worst kind of villain. But I mean, it's. It is by far one of the better shows on TV right now. I don't know about that. Name a better show. Survivor. I don't even mm. think it's on right now. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I think that's canceled, too. American Idol. American no, Idol. Didn't, weren't they signed up for something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're still going, because yeah, they have to show Bruce Jenner's sex change. They're still going. Yeah. But Bruce and Survivor is, is currently on TV anymore. right now. Is it currently on TV? Yes. Oh. The, the Great Race, or whatever the fuck it's called. Amazing that's it. That's mm. not Survivor. I'm, I know. I'm just saying more shows that are better than Flash. No, it's like Mobile Survivor. Right? Flash can run around the world. Hold on, I got the ultimate one. Fox News, most entertaining TV show on TV. <laughs> WWE Monday Night Raw. I don't know. I'm no. pretty sure. Uh, Flash I don't know. If you were seen getting sweaty in Spain, three next. hours of it. Three hours of it every week. every week. Three hours of sweaty. Fifty-two well, weeks a year. <laughs> Look, we watched Rocky 1, 2, and 3 yesterday. Year. I Beat had that my full of sweaty men. <laughs> no, you haven't. Todd, did you do anything else? Uh, no. Ridiculous. I watched Grim yesterday. I didn't watch Grim yesterday. I don't like where it's going right now. I watched it last week. It's, 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 eh. Yeah, I wasn't, like, super stoked. I, I, I feel like Juliet's being kind of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought when I watched last week. So I was like, why is she being such a bitch about everything? It's not even cool. Like, he was all about, like, helping her, and she's like, no, fuck you. This is me now. There's nothing you can do about it, so just go the fuck away. Yeah, she's like, and I'm a bitch now. Kiss me when I'm zombie-faced. <laughs> and I was like, really? You want him to kiss you as zombie face? Because nobody wants to do that. Gross. She's going to get with Captain Renard. There, there was, he had a great line in the episode, though. Oh, that's good. He's my favorite. He, he finally gets angry at everyone calling him a hex and beast. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, man. Walnuts. Uh, go. I played uh, more Pokemon Shuffle. Uh huh. Forgot I've been playing. Um, I haven't been playing it. I'm on level 85. Yeah. I can't catch the current special, Kalito or something like that. I can't. I can't beat him. And so it's like it'll tell me, oh, uh, Venusaur is really good against him, but Venusaur is only a uh, uh, an expert, and so I can beat Venusaur, but for zero seconds you get one percent catch chance. I had 12 seconds. It gave me 20% catch chance. I was like, hopefully. And then it, it, asked, it asked me if I want to use a great bot 47. I'm like, fuck no. That game gets tough. It does. I think the expert ones are really fucking hard. They are. I, I, like, but I like used up all my lives trying to catch uh, Lucario. It took me like three days to catch him. Um, I, the level 85, I've tried three times. What's, I can't who's beat. level 85? Because I think I'm around there. <sighs> I don't even know my 3DS up there, so I can't even lock Mr. Mime. It's not Mr. <laughs> Mime. It's, um, I think it's an ice type. It's ice cream. No, it's, uh, um, that might. It's, no, it's it's an electric type. It's it's like Voltorb. The, no, Electabuzz. It's like the 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 Pichu. This is gonna sound really. No, Pichu is level like four, and he's the hardest fucking thing in the world to catch. <laughs> it is. He is. I haven't caught him yet. I'm level eighty-five. I don't, I don't know what you fuckers are talking about. But. The, the the Pokemon is, and this is going to sound dumb, it's the electric version of Mario. Magnemite. Pikachu? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, another, like, roundish rat electric Pokemon. Plusle and Minin? No. No. Those are squirrels. Uh, yeah, they're uh, squirrels. Alakid? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Hold that kind of uh, looks that like electric cares. Mario. Well, that's what else did you do? Good lord. What were you gonna say? I don't know. I play, I've been playing X and Y, but or not? What's his name? I don't Alpha know. Alpha Ruby. Yeah. I don't. I haven't played Pokemon I since it, X. Obviously. I got it. I, I played I, for a little while. 
I always play it like religiously for like the first week. Yeah. And then I stop for a year. And then I get back into it, and I play it religiously until I beat it. And, you're like, oh, wait. and then I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm Where totally, was I? Yeah. Why do I have this Pokemon? I, I love, I think it was gold or silver that did the recap of, like, what you they had. Like, a bunch uh, of them did. It, it was the, um, I think gold and silver did it, and then you had it on the uh, the GBA games, too. Like, what, like the um, Leaf Green and Fire Red did it. That thing. Yeah, the, the shitty Pikachu that doesn't evolve. Yeah. <laughs> did Raichu? Any- no, that's evolved Pikachu. <laughs> it doesn't they evolve. added another electric mouse Pokemon oh. because they needed to add a second electric mouse Pokemon that's to the dumb. game. What's its name? D- D- Denny. It, uh, yeah, oh yeah, Den- oh. Denny. D- Denny's. Yeah, yeah, Denny's. It's, what else? What else? Grand Slam Pokemon breakfast. Else? Besides Denny's, I, I honestly, it Monster Hunter as well, and um, that's about it. I haven't, I've been, I don't know. I just haven't played. Ridiculous. I haven't done much. Play more games. I played a lot of Monster Hunter. I've been meaning to jump into uh, playing Wind Waker uh, <laughs> HD, Wind Waker remake. Since it's I a got good time, free, especially because you can just play it on your on the gamepad and watch TV while you're doing it. You, you know, won't do you that. Know I won't do that. I know because you're awful. I'm not awful. I just <laughs> I might. I'm gonna have a lot of free time coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my buddy gave me uh, about twelve issues of Fables to read. Twelve volumes. That was of like table. issues, really. Come on, uh, <laughs> volumes. Like they're they're, they're all up there. Yeah. Plus, I have two others upstairs. It's uh, like, I think he gave me up to seventeen, and I have uh, four and five. So yeah. four we better catch 17. up. The last issue comes out, I think, in June. It's I. Uh, it's no nowhere even near. Like he doesn't even have them all. No. It's only it's hundred and fifty issues. He's, he's got. He gave me like fifteen volumes. So I don't. He said he doesn't have them all. So he stopped collecting them at it's some a point. D- it's a DC released book, so I'm not sure how many volumes they. Probably six to seven per. No, no, not that. I, I don't know how far. So I mean, DC is really bad about releasing trades. Yeah. So I mean, sixteen could be the newest volume, and that's up to issue, say, a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And then you still have the fifty <laughs> other issues that they, they haven't released trades for yeah. because they want the money from the the volume the issue sales the, rather yeah. than the trade sales Marvel prefers yeah. trade sales over issue sales yeah Marvel well Marvel's gotten better in, the, in the recent yeah. years with like releasing them quick nothing yeah, well, beats Image like no. Image is basically when when the last issue comes out the next week the trade comes out almost when I was buying like ultimately like, I mean I still buy books but when I was buying like the Ultimate Iron Man like all the side stories and everything I wanted Ultimate Iron Man uh, part two issue five Issue 5 kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. The trade came out a week before the actual issue came out. And I was like, that's just... Uh. Yeah. So I had to make sure Brian held me aside issue 5 just to make sure I got it because they were only printing so many copies because they're like, well, the trade's already out. What do we need the issue? Was that like the Armor Wars thing or whatever? No, it was that was that was Ultimate Iron Man. Oh, that was the one where Ultimate where, Iron Man one and two were the ones when it was like like uh, kid super genius version. Yeah, and he, he had that blue brain suit thing that went over him to protect his cancer or something. Yeah, because his whole body was was a was brain. A brain. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, so was fucking weird. It was. I thought it was really cool. I love how they just they just completely fucking negated it in um what was that Ultimates versus Ultimate Avengers. It was Ultimates. It was early Ultimates. No, no. Um, it was in. Um, it was right before the death of Spider Man when they were doing the um, Ultimates versus the Ultimate Avengers. Yeah, there was. Um, Fury was in that bar with like the Punisher, and he laughed. He's like, "Really, Stark? This is what you're you're claiming to be your uh, your uh, shit." I thought it was earlier, but yeah, I was, it was yeah. Really no, it, it was that lead up to the death of Spider Man. Yeah, when the Ultimates were fighting the Ultimate Avengers, it was so dumb. I liked that though. I thought that was a cool version of Iron Man. I was like, it's an interesting take on him. But they're like, no, we're just going to make him a regular guy. Yeah, that again. that was interesting. But then at the same time, they never really touched on it in anything other than the Ultimate Iron Man book. That's why I thought that they did that. No, well, they didn't do it that early because that pretty book, early. But I don't know. Whatever. I, don't, I don't know when that actually came out either. Because he was wearing that armor in Ultimates One. Yeah, so it's like, well, they made they basically made it out to be was a supposed t- to be the same guy. It was a TV movie. But I know that's what <laughs> I mean. They turned it into a TV movie or whatever, but later on, yeah, that's the best game ever. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, get it on Steam immediately, somebody. There's a game called Hot Lava, and it's the floor is lava. That is All right. the greatest. Well, did you do anything else or no? Um, oh, I was still talking. Sorry. I guess so. Um, well, why you get grumpy? I'm not. I mean. Anyway, I'm like, I'm like three issues into or three volumes into Fables, so like I have yeah. a ton left. And a buddy of mine let me borrow uh, Battle of the Gods, so I'm probably gonna watch that this week. So I have a lot to talk about next week. 
Great. But this week, I mean, just great. I, doesn't really the next just, movie, the Freeze movie, coming out in theaters over here at some point? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if the Naruto, the last, was supposed to come out and was limited, um, limited in theaters. I think there was one in New York. That, I I did see that that Funimation was going to have like some sort of North American release for the the new Frieza movie coming. Yeah. Probably uh, it's um because I'm sure they would. Yeah, Frieza 2.0. I I, I want to see that because it it's just Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Well, uh, Toriyama has the rights back. Yeah, yeah so it's going to be cool again. Not like or ridiculous. Will it? it will. Well, well you didn't like will. Dragon Ball GT? I never really watched much of it. It was GT. fantastic. Was it really? It wasn't as bad as everyone made it out to be after you got past... See, when they released it on Toonami, they did it right. They skipped over all the bullshit at the beginning of the series where it was um, little kid Goku, Trunks, and Pan traveling the universe finding the like Black Star Dragon Balls. Yeah, because they had to reverse the little kid... Yeah, and, th- and those were the only Dragon Balls that could do it. But once they get used, they got scattered across the universe, not just across the planet they were on. Yeah. But they skipped the th- first like 30 episodes of the sh- series... That was that, and they jumped. They did like a, an episode recap. The first episode was just here's what we did for the last you know six months, and then I believe it's the next episode picked up with them fighting the dragon on Earth. Because uh, that's once you get past the Black Star Dragon Ball bullshit, they go to Earth, and the, the dragon has become corrupted by all the selfish wishes. And I think it's each Dragon Ball spawns like a different dragon they have to go fight, and that's when um or no, that's actually the second part of it. The first part was um. The dude that used to be part of Vegeta's planet Vegeta was um he he saw Goku and realized he was a Saiyan and followed him to Earth and tried to take over and I, he he took over a bunch of people and that's when Goku became the giant golden monkey instead of just the gray monkey or the brown monkey and it was yeah, crazy. I, I just I just love that when Goku is kid Goku but goes Super Saiyan four he jumps into adult Goku. <laughs> well yeah because he <laughs> he, beca- he he becomes the golden monkey first. Okay. And then once he controls himself in that. He becomes the adult Super Saiyan four thing. Okay, Dragon Ball's so dumb. And when yeah, he's it's done, so fucking weird. He's so dumb. And when he's done with the Super Saiyan four, does he go back to being kid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's all a play on that old it, like Chinese legend of Journey to the West. Like that a lot of fucking animes and or a lot of people like make today. I think there was a Journey to the West movie like a year ago. Like the Forbidden Kingdom of Jackie Chan, and yeah, the, yeah. The, there's been a couple of the animes that were Saint really heavily Saint in. Key? Yeah, that's the one I was trying to think of. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah G- GT was pretty fucking weird, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, other than other than that very f- beginning of it, where it was basically what happened to Gohan and Krillin when they went looking for Namek. That was that was like the first thirty episodes of GT. Yeah, it was just them traveling the, the universe. Trying to find these Dragon Balls, getting into crazy antics because they're they trying to they were trying to recapture like drag the 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 kind of like um, Dragon Ball. Yeah, they're, they're trying to capture like that feel, like the like yeah. Goku was a kid again. It was more like yeah. goofy and comedy oriented. Yeah. But I guess no one liked that, so that's when they got back to Earth and they just kind of wrecked the, shit. The fans that's, grew. Like they made Gohan kill G- Piccolo. Like the original Dragon Ball fans grew into Z fans, grew into GT fans. Like yeah. it's like kind of like Pokemon. I don't but think anyone really ever backwards. I don't think anyone really ever grew into a GT fan though. Oh, well, I probably didn't. That was <laughs> probably like after the fact. But I mean, like, so the idea is your your show needs to grow with your fans. Yeah, yeah. You know? like Pokemon realized that. Like. That's why Ash has been 10 for the last they, <laughs> 700 plus episodes. <laughs> but well, he changes well, every season. Yeah, he gets a new hat each year. Yeah, it's, it's uh, still... which, which surprises me because there was that fucking Mankey episode. 30 minutes of him trying to get his fucking hat back because it's so important. Oh, yeah. First time he fucking leaves Kanto, though, he gets a new goddamn hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important anymore. Oh, Mankey primate. I, I hate Ash. She's a terrible trainer. Yeah. You fucking give yeah, away your Mankey. Go, go read the Reddit shit. He's a, he's a kid in a coma. I know. <laughs> That's why he's a terrible trainer. All right, guys. Guess what yeah. I did? I was just about to ask you. No, you weren't. Eric, what'd you do this week? I don't want to tell you. All right, fine. News. Podcast over. What did you did? This I week? did some stuff. I played some games. Uh, of course, I've been playing more Dragonage because I'm trying to beat that on Nightmare Difficulty. It's not easy at all. I'm just trying to overlevel myself to make it easier. It's still not easy. Uh, but I picked up a new game because it was, you know, in a bad spot this week and I was like, fuck it, I'm getting a game. So I went to the rental kiosk of Redbox and picked up the Order 1886. I might actually get that next week. That game's really cool. I got a uh, a free or a, a $1 month of Gamefly they offered me. Okay. So I added um, the Order 1886 yeah. and Bloodborne and they're sending me the Order. Nice. Yeah, nice. the Order's really cool. 
Um, I would definitely recommend everybody with a PS4 playing it. Not necessarily for sixty dollars. I I played beat and platinumed it for six fifty. Uh, I highly that? recommend that. Mm. What's that? Three days? A day? Two days? Two days? I picked it up. How many Wednesday hours night? did you? Eight. Eight uh, hours. What was this? The Order 1886. Oh. Played, beat, platinum. About eight hours. So what's all the bad press about then? It's it's short. It's it took eight me eight hours Did to play, beat, platinum the game. Platinum the game. In, in eight hours. Yeah, that's, honestly, that's like, refreshing. Like, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Like I, I played, beat, platinum the game in eight hours. I don't regret any of it. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. The game is technically phenomenal. Not just in looks, but it plays c- completely well. No bugs, no issues. Everything just fucking works the entire time. Is it first is person or third person? Third, third person. Super third, like super, super close third person, though. It may as well be first person. Um, it's like Gears of War kind of levels of third person. I've, I've actually never not Gears even of really War. seen Gears of War. What else is War? super close like that? Uh, uh, Ari, Resident the Evil 4. More recent Resident Evil? Starcraft no, I don't play Ghost. Those. <laughs> so is that one where like, like over the shoulder? Basically, yeah, I was gonna say you basically see their it's ear Resident and their Evil shoulder, kind of like yeah, Batman, yeah, but Evil like 4. super Evil close, 4. like a little bit closer. Okay, Resident Batman. Evil Four. Um, yeah, just about the black bars are kind of annoying, um, but I mean you don't even notice them when you're actually playing. Um, everybody was complaining like, oh, I can't see over this ledge because the bar is too short. If you push up on the left stick, your character kind of like leans up above it, not sticking his head out, but it lets you see above everything beyond what, it. Uh, so. It's like cinematic black bars you're talking C- about? Humo- like, it's letterboxed no. instead of 16 by 9 for whatever reason. It's letterboxed. So it's like extreme black bars on the top of my Did they ever give like a reasoning for that? Probably, yeah. Like, was that just it? Like, they, they couldn't run at the full... Yeah. Although The Evil Within did it, didn't, di- didn't run that well, even on PS4 with it and, P- and Xbox One with those black bars, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just most likely for technical reasons to make it run, because it looks fucking gorgeous. Uh, look, I'll put it to, to this point. Um, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but feet in video games are never rendered very well because they're feet. Right, yeah. um, it's like Rob Lafield drew them all. What? Well, yeah, more or less. <laughs> it's like they're just there. Like even God of War three, Kratos's feet. It's just one lump of of like like flesh on sandal, all one thing. The toes are not separate. They're just kind of there. Um, this guy has foot wrinkles in like the opening of the game. He's being dragged, and you can see like the wrinkles of his feet are actually changing as his feet are changing position. And I'm like, all right, this game's fucking gorgeous. It's yeah, just oh, I mean, that was insane. Every review was like, I, this not, game still yeah. looks fucking fantastic. It's beautiful. It plays well. If you can get it for cheap, I recommend it. You uh, know? How many quick time events are there? Because that was the other big detraction Like 112. No, like, it was like, like eight. eight. Okay. Maybe it's not like every two minutes is a quick time event because that's I, I kind of what the reviews those were reviews, making it out to be. That was my biggest thing is when I'm reading like I read all the reviews too. I I know exactly what they all said and I played the game coming out like okay what the fuck game did they play? Because yeah, to me everything was running fine. I didn't have any issues. The black bars are kind of annoying, but you get used to it after like 20 minutes. It's not that big of a deal. And quick time events, it's. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, seriously, like maybe eight in eight hours. That's okay. whatever. As, considering Ready at Dawn has is known for God of War games, that's really not that bad. Um, I don't, I don't understand why everyone has such a big problem with quick time events because you're not controlling the character anymore. That was well, no. like all of God of War one through three. Right, but that's like, the thing it, is like it's stale now. Yeah. Like, that's why people don't like quick time events. It's like, oh, cool, a boss fight that I literally just circle, square, yeah, a, etch, I think square. None X. of the boss fights are like that. I mean, there's only like two of them when you fight lichens, like hand. It's you and a lichen, and the control instead is like R2 to do a strong attack, L2 to do a quick attack. Um, and then R to dodge when it tells you when to dodge, like the right stick to dodge. And I'm like, okay, this works. I mean, it's that to, it's not quick time because it's not like button prompt, push triangle, then circle, then right stick, quarter circle, and the, none of that. Like, there's only a couple of those. Mm. It's not as bad as they make it seem. But like, they, well, they did the same with um, Rise. Rise is there's a quote unquote your personally activated quick time event. If you so choose to, to get an increase in experience, increase in health, things like that. But you can go the game, if you're good enough, without getting hit, 
without having to do a quick time event. But the game was terrible because it's all quick time events. Well, in that instance, that's different because you can a- you can activate a quick time event with every kill in Rise. Yeah, you, there's no quick time events, save for the couple scenes when there's a quick time event in the in the order. And when I say eight, I might be exaggerating. Honestly, it's literally like the only ones I can remember uh, is like the uh, on on the uh, fucking on the Zeppelin when you walk in the cabin and you have to do a quick quick time event and uh, the final fight before it turns into the actual boss is a quick time event and maybe maybe two others like it's not there's not a ton of like square and then triangle and then course like there's not a whole lot of that and well, it's that's one of the reviews are like so many quick, quick time events and, like there's like four I, I like when they make you pay attention to the scenes like in in for instance in resident evil 4 they you had to pay attention because otherwise it'll tell you to hit a button if you're not paying attention you're gonna die so you have to do the quick time event in the cutscenes. Uh, yeah and it's like it's it, uh, what was his name? The guy that did the uh, uh, Feds Vet song. Um, I don't know, but who cares? Um, MC right. Chris. He had a whole rant about it and how it's awesome that like right. time but events like again, you have to pay attention. The, the thing is, it's awesome. Ten years ago, when Resident Evil Four came out, quick time events are not. They were state of the art ten years ago. This is my. This is the same argument I make with you about Monster Hunter. It's ten years later. It's not awesome anymore. You know, and every fucking character action game and third person shooter does them. Fucking every game does it and press, it becomes stale. <laughs> press triangle to pay respects. All right. <laughs> Quick time event. Why? <laughs> it's like it's there's no Where was that from? Call of Duty. The newest one. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. Some guy dies and you, you you're standing there and you. <laughs> It's because they press don't... Press triangle to pay respects. It they don't... comes across the bottom of the screen. They don't want to play a 10-minute scene where you're just sitting I, here Look, like, I, I know, hey. Rich. Trust me. I know. I understand game design almost better than most of you guys. I studied it for three fucking years. I get it. But at the same time, it's, it's not a new technology. It's not refreshing, and it's not exciting anymore. That's why people knock it down as hard as they do. You don't have to defend it. I understand. I don't hate it as much as most people do. The the counter argument to you're paying attention to the cutscene is now it's distracting from the cutscene. Yes. Like, you're hiding some of the stuff that's going on with these button prompts. And Not really, it's, well, it's I mean, more that like, you're focused more on the button prompts than you are on the yeah. scene that's going on. And that, the like, issue you, is. it's but it's if it's an action packed scene. Well, if it's if it's if it's press triangle to pay respects, fuck that. But if it's in Resident Evil Four, it's Leon versus uh, this dude, and it's a full on knife fight cutscene that you can't actually play. But they're like, hit this button, hit that button, hit this button. That's like. I'm in this fight. Here's where the biggest problem is, though. When it starts a cutscene, and you're not ready for a button press to happen, and you fucking die. And then you have to play ten minutes to get back to the cutscene, to wait five minutes into the cutscene, to get ready to hit a a bunch of buttons. That's a ten-year-old issue, though. Nobody does that anymore. Nobody does... Resident Evil 4 is 10 years old. They didn't even do that. They if you did, died right. in the cutscene, you went right back into the cutscene when you came back. I'm just saying, like, that's... But that's... Yeah, I've, I've not like, experienced anything to that extreme in a I mean, I haven't played time. fucking anything that has quick time events You have. If you've played a video game in the last 10 years, you've played a lot. But that's... Uh, I know I mean, what you mean, though. It's But that's not an issue I've experienced. I've played God of War, every single one of them. None of them do that. If I, you fuck up, it starts you, like, two minutes right before you fucked up. Or right when you fucked and, up. And, and most the games... the same way. Anytime, if you fuck up, it's right there, right back or, into it. And so. a lot of games, like... Or how they should be, or how they used to be, at least. If you fuck up, a little bit of your health goes away, and then if you no, fuck up enough, you die. I mean, that's us- fail. Usually, a quick time event is fail or win. It's not lose health and you know so, die. When did the stigma on quick time events start becoming apparent? Like, what game was like the recent one? Not- Probably after God of War three. Yeah. Because uh, quick times were huge in the PS2 and Xbox. Hmm. Was that one yeah. era? They were huge back then. I, yeah, yeah, Xbox. Yeah, the original Xbox. Xbox yeah. Because I feel it, like it paints a target for that mechanic. Yeah. And then for games that you know, uh, the order, the, the order, last order yeah. was it not the last order. The order. The order. Mm-hmm. Now people, the reviewers are looking at it like, oh, it has quick time events. Time to bash this to all hell. More or less. Like, I feel like it's 
that's a common theme with like yeah, it, a lot of games. If every game nowadays that has quick time events, people are like, "Oh, quick time events!" It could have one. They're like, "Oh, it fucking sucks." There's quick time events. No, that's the whole. That's yes, you're absolutely right, and that's one of the it, biggest issues it, with it, games journalism today. Is if there's one thing wrong, everything about the game is fucking wrong. And, and that's so, what I'm getting. They're all like, they're all jaded at this point because they absolutely. play so many games. Because think about it, if you if you played every game that came out and Let's say 20 games came out um, last month, and you had to play 15 of them. And seven of them had just a lot of quick time events. You'd be pissed. I, I like mean, if they were poorly used, it's a fairly especially. unrealistic situation. Yeah. I know, but <laughs> any games reviewer is doing like two a month. Yeah, fuck it, fifteen. I, I'll, I'll put, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean a month. I meant a year. I know. I'll put it in okay. perspective. I've been. I I have time hop on my iPad, and I was going through my time hop all month. And March two years ago, I believe it was. I was I I reviewed what four or five games in the month of March for the website. I I mean none of them were all like quick time events, but like I'd over reviewed. Like I did way too many games that month. But it's like if I had to do five games and they each had a quick time event, I would be like okay. But if they were all full of quick time events, maybe I would be like all right. Well, maybe quick time events are a little overdone, but. I mean, I can't say for sure unless I get into that situation. Right now, I don't play games that have quick time events out the ass, and it's all quick time events. That's all you do is quick time events. I played Rise. I'm the only one here who played Rise. The game is not all quick time events. It's you activate it if you want to, and like going through the final cutscene is a quick time event. But that's it. It's not like. It, it's also that's a major letdown because Shadow of Mordor did the same thing. Quick time event, final boss. Come on, and isn't come I on. mean, doesn't this also kind of prove the point that quick time events have kind of become passe and shouldn't be in thing? Like, like you don't expect them to be in things anymore if you're coming across like it's really weird for them to show up. I don't think it's weird. Like, like I, I, I it was expected in God of War. Like that was a thing that was happened in two thousand three. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing that happened in like games in two thousand twelve, thirteen, fourteen, for the most part. Like that's a thing that's less uh, become less and less common. It hit had a super quick spike up in yeah happening and acceptance, and as equally quick downslide mm-hmm. in happening and acceptance. No, it's yeah. I, to me, a quick time event, it exists, I get it, whatever. I don't have a stigma against them. I don't hate them. There is such thing as overuse, yes, but in most instances, there are very few games that overuse the quick time event. I There's not that many of them. I haven't, and in I my experience, I haven't played a game that overused them. I mean, God of War kind of does to an extent, but... When, you come to expect it from God of War. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, so you it's, expect it's not like, it, and it got... <clears throat> the pass on it because it's god of war and i was yeah. like okay they're gonna do that that's god of war's thing right when now thinking about it when you fucking almost every enemy you kill is a quick time event of mash this button or that mm-hmm. button like that's fucking ridiculous at this point mm. i mean it's, it, but it's it's again richie's gonna argue with this right now it's optional you don't have yeah. to kill them that way Regardless, no, no. Regar- well, I mean, in God of War, there were straight up enemies you could not kill. Like two, the- yeah. But still, if well, you could yeah, not but kill still, them, you don't have to kill every enemy with no, a quick time event. No, so, no, it, in Richie's defense, yes, it is optional, but it exists. So I get, I, I get your point, and I get your point. Like there were, but enemies. I expect it because it's fucking God yeah, of War. Yes, so I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, there were parodies where like a guy was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right, that was the greatest <laughs> thing in the world when the guys doing the quick time event making peanut butter and jelly. I was so happy about that. That was great, and then he died at the end. And he slammed the peanut butter <laughs> and jelly sandwich on his face. Yeah, he didn't master it. Look, hard quick enough. time events—they're goofy. Sometimes they don't fit, but if, as long as they're not overused, and in most games they aren't when they exist. Whatever, who cares? Mm. It doesn't ruin the fucking game by having a quick time event, and. Again, there's no, like, you fail the quick time event, you better play this entire fucking level over again. Nobody does that, because it's fucking horrible. And if they do do that, redesign your game, or leave the games industry, because you're horrible. That's stupid. Everybody does it where, if you fail, okay, you're right back at the beginning, you missed three button presses, now you're on the fourth one where you failed last time, let's do it. It's 
they're not a problem. They're really not a problem. And they're n- very rarely overused to the point where I would knock a game down 18 points because they had a fucking quick time event. Like, it's, like I said, the order had four, maybe. Maybe eight. I don't know. It wasn't a lot. <laughs> Regardless, four to eight in an eight-hour game, whatever. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. The game, I honestly, I liked it a lot. I thought the story was great. I thought the characters were cool. I thought the gameplay was really did well done. Um, the complaints that you don't get the cool weapons often enough, I think, is moot and you know individualized. I, I got the cool weapons as often as I wanted to. If I was running around with a thermite gun for the entire fucking game, I would really hate the thermite gun. But I got the thermite gun like three times, and I thought it was really cool each time I got it, and that was enough for me. Same with the arc gun. The rocket launcher you get once because it's too powerful. Why would you want to run around with a rocket launcher the whole time? Mm. Because who doesn't like shooting rockets at things? Because you're in corridors the whole time, and you hit anybody, you die because it's a rocket launcher. Mm. Plus, it was just weird. I didn't really like the rocket launcher. Uh, But all the other guns were cool. I I thought it was cool. I didn't... uh, Like, fives and sixes that everybody was giving it seems to me like you know nitpicky and you know this game isn't call of duty give it a five or a six i would have gone seven or eight because it fucking works better than half the games that came out last year and this year well nothing really came out this year but it worked way better than anything that came out last year i had no buggy issues at all throughout the entire game so maybe i'll buy by it standalone by itself as a single player game six hour event sure there's nothing else to do afterwards doesn't matter the game is advertised is here I, I thought it worked well. I'm not going to review it because Pisco did already. And he gave it a good review, too. So, yeah. I mean, if you can get it for cheap, definitely get it. I wouldn't pay $60 you should, for it. You should it. review it and comment your review under his review. <laughs> no, I can do that. Second opinion. This game is good. You should play it. <laughs> yeah. that's all I would say. But, yeah. You play anything else? Uh, No. I got Pillars of Eternity because it finally came out after two and a half years. Was that your um, <laughs> the Kickstarter? Version? Oh, the Kickstarter. Yeah, I backed that on my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wild in line for the Simpsons ride. I was I had my phone out and I was backing this project. Uh, it finally came out on Friday, um, so I downloaded it Friday, but I've been too busy to play it. So I'll probably play it this week. Talk about it next week. It looks like a lot of fun though. Squirrel just climbed up your wire there. <laughs> oh, that's a that this wire. Okay. Neat. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. You guys want to get into news? All right, sure. Hmm? You can do the news music. You gotta cue it, man. I don't have to cue shit. You should know at this point to do the news. Music. You gotta cue the news music. I well, do the goddamn news music. Dude, style, dude, we, <laughs> in mid conversation. News. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Great. Now Great. you just killed him. Now Cobb has to cut that. <laughs> I don't even know where it was. I didn't look. That was the giant audio spike. That no, yeah. the problem was it. It was so like short. <laughs> great. Just great. <laughs> Now everything's ruined. Everyone's going to hate us this week. I just had, we need to harmonize and just go, news, real quick, all right? You're taking too long. All right, it's already done. All right, news it is. Let's just go backwards. Backwards. Uh, Why don't we just rearrange the order that these things are in? Because we go backwards every week. Let's let's go like we did the one week. Just somebody pick a random one and we'll start that category. No. Random one right in the middle. Have you guys talked about... Unreal 4 being free? I think so, but that was a while ago that happened, I a couple know, weeks ago. Maybe you should listen to the show. <laughs> I should. Yeah. I've been Wait, playing Monster. Don't you have like a 45-minute commute from like your apartment yeah, to your but office? It's underground. So I guess I could pre-download it, right? Yeah. yeah. It's on you iTunes. listen to that while you're playing uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah. I'm usually that. pissed off in Monster Hunter. Yeah, uh, I mean, I noticed, like... must be pissed off about you playing so Monster Hunter. My favorite, like, I, was, I used to play Monster Hunter while I was in college, and... Or in, in Gloucester County, I think. And apparently, like, I would make some faces and do some crazy shit on my PSP <laughs> because I looked up and there was these two girls looking at me, and they looked at each other and they were like... Like, they just made the same action that I just did, and I was like... God damn this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, Monster Hunter pissed me off. Mm. All right, uh, we're going to skip other news because that's stupid. Nobody cares about it. You don't want to talk about how Radio Shack is trying to sell customer data as part of bankruptcy? No. Everyone's okay. trying to sell customer no. data about yeah, bankruptcy. Yeah, because seriously, if you're doing anything, your, customer, your data's out there, so who cares? <laughs> it's, either, it's either getting hacked or they're no. selling it. Yeah, so who cares? It's, that's stupid. Uh, so we're just jumping to comics news. Uh, okay, yeah. So Marvel uh, revealed over the course of a couple days, and then it was leaked before the final reveal, of course, uh, the uh, new, all new, all different Avengers lineup. That's the name of the book, by the way. All new, all different Avengers. Oh, jeez. Because it's an all different team of Avengers. No, because fuck Except Marvel. for the first Because they needed two hyphenated but, words. Yes. So, no, because it's been all new. 
Uh, so now it's all new, all different. Like, it's that going to be everything? All new, I all different. So. All new, all different Spider Man. All new, all different. Fucking no, all new, all, all different, different. The amazing, amazing Spider Man uh, and friends. All new, all different. Miles Morales. Firestar is pretty big. <laughs> all new, hmm. all new, all different. Miles Morales colon Ultimate Spider Man. <laughs> And friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't have friends. <laughs> what would be the that alternative for people to get the like, unique and diverse? Yeah, that's, yeah, seriously. Oh, they should do that. That's one, what this it, is. It is a pretty diverse lineup. The diverse lineup yeah. of the event. All right, so it's uh, Thor, the new Thor who's a female. So whoever's holding Mjolnir so, right yes, now. It is so that's kind of new. Uh, no, so it gets it, it gets more diverse. diverse. Iron Man, but we don't know anything about him because he's in an Iron Man suit. So we don't know if it's 616, Ultimate, or some other and version. I think at least the Ultimate. style of the suit does look a little more traditional Ultimate. I think no, and it doesn't. Not to me. See, I th- just the helmet looks more ultimate than anything. Ultimate that... was like Mega Man round helmet. Like... I said a little bit more ultimate than what he's been wearing in six one six recently. Plus, he's as f- I haven't read Superior since issue two. He wears like white he... and Superior. Yeah, it's like it's like this chrome yeah. liquid metal. I don't but know. he's a bad guy. Yeah, but the, I mean, so I don't know if they're going to reverse that beforehand it's or thing. it's an event. Who knows what's going to come out yeah. of it? I it could be ultimate. It could, it could be, be a completely different Tony know, Stark. It, it could be fucking you know sixteen sixteen pirate Iron Man for all we yeah. fucking know. They do a fusion dance and all Iron Man from all yeah. universes combined into could one. Be, honestly, it's probably going to be like some Chinese dance. guy in the Iron Man suit because <laughs> the, with the way this team's going, that's true. Uh, so Captain America, obviously, but it's the new Captain America, which is Falcon. Wearing Captain America's outfit, so Captain America's black. Uh, I like how he kept the wings, but carries the shield. Yeah, it's uh, whatever. So he can fly and hit people. He can fly. He, fly and he can communicate with his bird, or something like and he has the shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's, seriously, uh, the Vision, who's a robot. Uh, oh. Nova, who's the the Spanish kid. Now I, I don't know if he's he, he is some sort. He's Hispanic in some way. I don't know I what his name. He's, he's Sam Spanish. Alexander, but yeah, I think his he's his mom, his sister, and him all look Hispanic. Yeah. his dad looks white. Yeah, so, so he's probably like half Hispanic, like yeah, Miles. But is. he's like twelve, so you got your kid. Yep, Miss Marvel, who is what is she? Uh, Pakistani? Yeah, she's she's something yeah. Middle Eastern. Yeah, Dude. she's Middle Eastern. She's mu- <laughs> I know she's she's Muslim. I know that. And and Miles Morales, who's half black, half Spanish. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so all new, all diverse <laughs> Avengers is really what it should be. Executives of Mars Marvel is like, you know what sells? Race. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> and and uh, all the it? colors of the rainbow. And, fe- oh. and feminism. <laughs> female Thor is probably going to be a lesbian. And you know just what? Rounded out. Mark too. Wade's at least writing it, so he writes characters pretty well. No, he does. I agree. It would be cool. I hope there's an affirmative action joke in one of the issues. <laughs> I mean, here's the, uh, I'm going to get the book because that's where Miles is going. You know, at this point, I, I, if he gets another book, we'll probably get that too. Well, all the books I buy are being canceled. Everything's yep. being canceled. So I have to pick a whole new lineup of books to get with Marvel, except for the DC books. So Batman's not going to. Canceled. I don't care. <laughs> that's like the only thing I get from DC. So it doesn't matter. Well, that's, that's why I said yeah, Batman's not going to cancel. Yeah, no. Like seriously though, I, I bet you Thor's going to female Thor's going to be a lesbian, and uh, Miles is going to end up being gay, like everybody's been speculating. But for he's got the that last girlfriend. Two years. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean she anything. turns him gay. <laughs> also, I didn't know Go- he had a girlfriend. Go- Governor McGreevy <laughs> hanging that. Governor Governor McGreevy was had two kids and was married. That's or may- true. Maybe new Iron Man is gay. You know, just uh, so now he is a new Iron Man. <laughs> Maybe Make me fucking mind. <laughs> I said he might be a Chinese guy for all we know. <laughs> so what? Now all Chinese guys are gay. Yes. God. Look at Paul. Yeah. Yes, I watched that show <laughs> Off the Boat the other day, and the the dad is the guy who played Kim Jong. Un from the interview. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I, that made me laugh. He lost a lot of weight to not be fat anymore to be on this show, <laughs> but it's him. All right, go on to the next one. Um, <laughs> go, ahead, go clockwise. It, what is this? Come on, Shot. Storm joining the Inhumans and Uncanny Inhumans along with Medusa, Triton, Inferno, Iso, and Naja. Yeah. I know Medusa. I know Inferno. He was. Oh, yeah. I do, I do know Inferno, too. So yeah. they have two fire guys. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Storm's been with them before, too. So Yeah, well, I mean, the Fantastic Four and Inhumans kind of have that history. Yeah. And with Fantastic Four getting canceled. He's got nowhere to go. So that at least that means like you're going to see the Fantastic Four popping up other places. Mm, I hope the Ultimate version of Reed sticks around because he's so cool. I want the Ultimate version of um, the Thing too, just because yeah. I don't know he he's better because <laughs> he could, he's in a cocoon. I'm kind of torn about powers. Sue because like normal Sue has better powers, but Ultimate Sue is smarter and a little bit more of like a smartass. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. All right, Druin. 
The Russo brothers reported to direct the Avengers Infinity War movies. Yeah. Nice. That's exciting. Yeah. They directed the they, Cap movies. Yeah, they did Cap 2 Cap or two. 1 Cap and 2 and 3. 2 and 3? Yeah. Not or one. they're doing 3, but they did 2. Yeah, Cap 2 and 3. Yeah, so. It's pretty exciting. That's cool. I like that. I was telling, I, was, I told Dad about that. I was like, yeah, Avengers 3 and 4, that's going to be done by the guys who did uh, uh, Avengers, or the Cap 2. Cap 2, and he was like... That movie was fantastic. Yes, it was. It's like such a great like political thriller. Bob, I was like, dude, Dad, you're such a nerd. <laughs> Dad is a nerd. It's good. He is. Christopher, six part X Files revival. It's officially coming to Fox. Best news, all fucking week, guys. Best news. That was great. The X Files is coming back. Oh yeah, I actually haven't watched them, so I'm I'm really excited to go on like a giant like binge watch. Of don't be excited. Don't do it. it. No, no yeah, it's not. I mean, do it, do it, but don't be excited. No, it is very dry, very boring. Me and Alger made it to like season two and a half, and I just like I I, can't, I have to stop. I can't. So do you're it excited, anymore. and you've only made it through the first. <laughs> I've seen season. a lot of the episodes like back in when the they day. first aired. Um, read, like an, a synopsis of like, <sighs> everything. The, the problem with the X Files, and it's not even a problem. It's like the joy of it is like every episode is its own monster of the week episode, mm. and it's only like every like like ten episodes does anything significant happen with the characters to advance the overarching story. Otherwise, each episode has nothing to do with anything. Mm. So it's like, I want to, does it doesn't that change as the show goes on though? Because usually no. the first few seasons of shows no. are like that. The entire series is like that. Wow. The entire series has very little overarching story and a lot of singular Monster of the Week episodes, and they never change. And that was part of the glory of it, is you could just jump in and watch it whenever you wanted. And that's what I did when I was younger. I, I didn't watch every episode. I didn't watch it religiously, but I watched it a lot with my dad. Um, so it's one of those things, like, I've, I've wanted to go back and just get the whole mythology of it under and watch it all in order and everything. And that's what we did, like, two years ago. We started doing it. It's, just, it's so... I- the first couple seasons are so dry, dude. I know Robert Patrick takes over for uh, David Duchovny That's eventually. pretty late, though, like season seven, I think, of nine or whatever. Yeah. And that's when the show... That's when, that's got, when the show got really bad. Got really bad, yeah. Uh, but even that, even before that, it was still kind of, like, goofy. Like, that last season with David Duchovny got weird, and... I know he's in the the newest movie, which was like 2008. It's not even new. Uh, and then the other movie, so like those fit into canon because the newest movie takes place after the series ended. And I don't know. I do want to watch it all, but don't be excited at all. <laughs> it's not something to be. You need to break it up. You have to watch like three episodes of X Files, then like two episodes of It's Always Sunny, just to get your head back in a good mm-hmm. spot, and then go back to X Files for a little bit because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> otherwise you're just like. <laughs> I've seen like two episodes and. I think the one episode, I don't know if you've seen this one, where it's the guy who, he needs to travel west, otherwise yeah. his head will uh-huh. explode. Yep. That's, that's the <laughs> one episode I really, that's truly episode, remember, yeah. is yeah. that episode. Speed. <laughs> it's basically, yeah, basically speed. That's so good. Mm. All then, right. Yeah. Walnuts, get ahead. Um, Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris. It's a Heimdall, right? Yeah. He's in talks for villain for the Star Trek Three movie. Yeah. That's pretty I, cool. I, I heard, I don't know if it's in here, I haven't really looked, I heard that ABC might be in talks to do a new Star Trek series or something. Was it ABC or... I, have, I think it was CBS. It, it came out as that's not true. It oh, okay. wasn't really? actually a thing, yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm sad, because I was looking forward to that. I did oh, see something sorry. like, th- there was a bunch of articles after that, like, what would they need to do to do a, a Star Trek TV series? The entire cast of the movies. No, you get a whole <laughs> new cast, you just do a uh, whole do new, a new ge- Do a new yeah, generation. But, well, because yeah. you figure every... Um, Every TV series takes place in, like, a different era. Yeah. So yeah, it's, you just do it again. Because even the, the last series, Enterprise, took was the first, like, Enterprise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'd be cool. I'm, mm. I'm wondering, with this new movie now, though, what are they going to do movie-wise? Because they kind of, like, with the first and second one, they kind of, in a way, rebooted and remade the original movies. Yeah. Like, the second one was Wrath of Khan, yep. except reversed roles. Right. The third one, which I hear well, is terrible, the third one was uh, the, the Return s- of Spock. It was the Search for Spock, the search which they don't Spock. have to do now. So they're just yeah, gonna, they they're going to go straight to the Journey Home, and they're going to go back to, uh, or I don't think that was even the Journey Home. They're going to go whichever one they travel to, nineteen eighties Planet Earth. That's what they're <laughs> or doing. They're next. just going to do a whole new thing. No, so, that's like, I'm sure that's what they're going to do. They're not yeah, going to yeah. keep rehashing the old yeah, movies. I, I Khan, just, Khan is the only. Star Trek villain that people really—that's the only no—and really, they, yeah. they know like the Klingons 
and stuff like that. But like Khan is an actual like singular villain that even people that don't really know Star Trek are familiar with. Everybody yeah. knows Khan. Well, he, he he's so. the one that's disrupted the Star Trek like universe like so hard in the yeah. past and the present and past movies. So yeah. Also, the the first new Star Trek movie didn't remake any of the Star Trek stuff. Well, yeah, I know. It but... just rebooted the series. So it's like. The third movie doesn't have to redo yeah, one of their movies. The Star Trek The Motion yeah. Picture was like 20 years after the series. Like, Kirk was an admiral, and I think Sulu was a captain of his own ship. And, like, it was yeah. that, it was like what happened to all these guys after their five year mission. Yeah. That's cool. It's my mm-hmm. turn. No. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right, fine. Jubilee is confirmed for X Men Apocalypse. Ugh, Apocalypse, everybody. It's gonna be she's gonna be played by Lana or Lena Condor. It's, it's I, don't, I, don't I, don't she, I don't know if she's in anything. Yeah, I don't know who she is, but, and I don't like Jubilee. No, Mm-mm. why not? Never did. Well, that's your loss because Jubilee's awesome. I don't know. She she's a poor man's dazzler. Well, <laughs> I guess, but I mean, she worked. She 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 did what she needed. As long to as do. in the as long as in the movie she wears the yellow raincoat, she probably won't. But that would be awesome. Lana Condor, IMDb, full filmography, X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> there you go. All right. Wow. So she's she's, uh, she's cute though. Oh, well, no. and fourteen. Uh, there is she fourteen. Here, here's the thing. There is nothing cuter than the next news right now. Oh, this, that was so good. Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool suit. Oh my god. So sexy. That's no, not no. what I want to see, no, Rich. She's like twelve. Her. Let's get the Ryan Reynolds suit up right, because I'll, I'll, that was awesome. That was in front of a fireplace. Yeah. Yeah, where he's just like that that was it, it was Deadpool. That's how you know, announce Deadpool. Right. I don't there. know if that's you guys funny. saw this. I saw it, yeah. That's my computer home screen. Yeah. No, or my work my work uh screen. That's so good. It's so good. I think I'm gonna just dress like that when my girlfriend comes. Home. <laughs> you, just, you just lay there in front of your. Do you have a fireplace? Turn the TV into turn a fireplace. Turn the TV yeah. into a fireplace. Yeah. yeah, just hit the fireplace thing. I'm right. pretty sure Yule Log is just an uh, an available on demand thing all the time. I don't think so. It's I, or either that or maybe Netflix. I, I, I think Netflix there is something you can watch that is just always a fireplace. I was thinking Netflix when you said on demand. I was thinking Netflix. It's definitely not on Netflix right now. It's a lot of their Christmas shit gets pulled right after. But it's not even. It's not actually Yule Log. It's ba- but it's it's a yeah. fireplace thing, and I, it's either on demand or Netflix has it. Maybe. Mm-hmm. You can just put a fireplace on all the time. Yeah. I wonder if rotisserie chicken and sizzling bacon is still. It's on not. Netflix. I looked. Damn it! I know. I was really sad about it. <laughs> rotisserie chicken sucked though. Did it? Yeah, because the rotisserie thing, as it as it turned, oh, it, had it squeaked, squeak. and it was really fucking annoying. Sizzling bacon was the shit. <laughs> it was the bacon. True and go. Uh, Masi Oka Hero is returning for Heroes Re- Re- Reborn. Yeah. Masai. Isn't it Masai? That doesn't Masai. matter. Masai, um, Masi. That's good, though. Japanese. I, I'm glad they have like an actual like hero, like person with powers returning. Yeah. Like I'm really stoked that that Hornroom Glasses is coming back. Yeah, it's but. awesome he's there, but like I mean he he doesn't have any powers and yeah. he, him and Hero were at least two of the bigger yeah. characters too. Yeah. So I should watch all of them. Yes. Okay. Yep. Except the, the, for the third season. Thir- third no. season's a wow. tough one. <laughs> yeah. Third Lock season's tough to get through. Fourth season well, doesn't pick up great, but it gets better by the end, and then it got canceled. Mm. Was it only four? It, yeah. I I thought thought it was Strike three. was Writer Strike season three? Two. Uh, Right so season season, season one is a full twenty episode season. That was the best yeah. one. Two is only I think seven episodes before it goes off. I thought it was twelve. Maybe it was twelve then. It was very short though. Yeah. It, um, that was the one with uh, when Hero was in the past and shit though, right? Yes. yes. Mm. Yeah, that's why I thought that was season three. No wait, isn't right. that season? Yeah, that is season two. I'm sorry. I thought because yeah. he goes season? back in time at the end of season one, <clears throat> yeah. and then um season three he, he is I believe he does jump through time again in season three. He because season something. two is the one where Peter loses all of his memories mm. and. Yeah, yeah because, don't spoil it. Watch yeah, yeah. it. I want to watch it too. It's a great show. It's all on Netflix. Season yeah. three is with um their, their the dad. Yeah, and then um what's his face gets powers and he mm-hmm. turns into some sort of bug creature. Yeah, I don't remember that. I need to watch that show again. That show was mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, people gave it a lot of shit after after writer strike. I thought it was still cool. Yeah, th- season three was the one that kind of started to lose me a little bit because between the first half and the second half they jumped like yeah. the storylines and they just didn't really work well together. I like season four a lot. See, yeah, season four got a lot better with the carnival and all. Yeah, because they, they had like a defined villain and everything was working out really well. And then, oh, it's canceled right before the Olympics. 
Thanks, Olympics. <laughs> well, that, that was the problem, too. It ended on a cliffhanger right before the Olympics, uh-huh. and they got canceled in May when renewals yep. came. It's like, so, so I'm sitting here like, oh, man, I can't wait for it to come. Nope. Canceled. It ends on a huge cliffhanger, too. It's fucking horse shit. So this, this will probably continue that, hopefully. Or uh, maybe. Yeah. It's going to well, take place sometime odds later. Odds are, um, what's-her-face isn't going to come back, because she's on that other show, yeah. um, the cheerleader. Always jump in for cameo. Yeah, I mean, a cameo yeah. at, at most. I'm sure they have to mention her as long as it's the same continuity. Yeah. Because her dad's in it. Yeah, it'll be the same um, continuity, just, you know, somewhere down the line. I know Zachary Quinto said he's not going to be in it, so no Siler. No. Which is disappointing, because yeah. he was always but, a fun character. But Chuck's going to be in it. That's true. No powers, though. Oh, is he a powerless character? Yeah, I think he's with uh, HRG. He's working with him. So that'll be cool. Uh, go next one. Uh, to me. Um, the new Spectre trailer yeah. for James Bond movies. That was cool. You should have just said Spectre trailer. You shouldn't have said anything. It's just Spectre trailer. And I, go, uh, I thought it would have funny. Did you guys see the trailer? No. I, 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 I saw it on... Um, they premiered it during uh, Walking Dead last week, two weeks ago. I can't remember. It was awesome though. I, 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 I it was. It looked good. I heard the actor, uh, Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Yeah, he got into a really bad car accident during filming. They do some crazy stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. But yeah, that that was a really good uh, trailer. Mm. I, did you guys all see Skyfall? Yes, Skyfall was wonderful. I still actually haven't watched any of the Daniel Craig Bond really? movies. Right. So I Quantum, have Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale. Casino Royale is really good, but it, it it's really good the first time you watch it, and then in like subsequent viewings, it just it drags a lot in the middle when they're at the casino stuff. Um, Quantum of Solace was just fucking weird and didn't really feel like a James Bond movie. Um, Skyfall was fucking phenomenal, though. Mm. Skyfall was great. Like if, from the moment it starts, it's just great. It's just- I, Dude, I forget who did it. There was some podcast I was listening to um, where, like, somebody, wh- whoever their guest was, was talking about, like, their idea for Skyfall before, like, the actual plot had been revealed. And they basically ran with that whole um, James Bond is an alias given to agents. It's not actually the same person through every movie. So h- his idea for it was every every old Bond shows up to, like, dismantle MI6. So, like, when it starts out, because the only thing you had seen so far is in, is the trailer where they show MI6, like, being destroyed. And he's like, at the end of that, Timothy Dalton walks out. <laughs> this trailer is not... They're not going to glean anything from this right now because yeah. it's all... I don't... Yeah, it's all audio. There's nothing... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not terribly interested in watching this trailer with no audio. <laughs> I'll watch it later. So, wa- watch the, the other three. I, I, Skyfall should still be on Netflix. I, for whatever reason, have not gotten around to ever watching them. I hate you so much. And I have two of them on Blu-ray. Like, I just haven't watched them. I'll get... Yeah. I want to. You said they're on Netflix? Skyfall. Well, it should be on Netflix, still. Okay. I, 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 I'm not actually 100% positive I have Casino Royale on Blu-ray. I know I have Quantum of Solace. I, I never saw Casino Royale, but I saw Quantum of Solace. <laughs> you kind of need to see Casino for Quantum to Dude, be, really was, make yeah. sense. So lo- like, I think um, I can't. It was uh, it was I'll just uh, bridal shower, and um, our cousin's stepdad came down with our cousin and his wife, and um, he came to our house, and me, dad, and him watched uh, Qu- uh Quantum of Solace. While you guys were having your bridal shower, or while they were having the bridal shower, so I was just like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, it's something like uh, it. It's a, yeah, it's good. It's, 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 it's just fuck. It, it's, it doesn't feel like a James Bond movie. No, it, the problem was it followed Casino. That was the issue. Is Casino's just so good? But like, if you, if you really go back, because I've seen Quantum a couple times, two or three times, I think it's a good movie. But it, uh, like you said, it it follows Casino, which Casino was really good. I still think Casino kind of starts dragging in the middle after you've watched it a couple times. It's it's the only James Bond movie that you can't watch alone. It's not only that; like, it just doesn't have that James Bond feel because he, he's a rogue agent in it. Yeah, like he's not working for the government in this one. He's not like he's off doing his own thing. Yeah. Ah, Super Troopers two hits crowdfunding goal two million dollars in twenty four hours. It, was it twenty? 20- 24 hours? I it thought was it a, was less than that. It was it was just under 24 hours, yeah, I believe. Yeah, okay. I thought it was like... But yeah, $2 million in less than a day. Yeah. my um, They're up to like $2.9 million, I think, right now, with I, 27 days remaining. I want to bring this up to you guys. You guys want to like put in money 
and do like the six hundred dollar option and have them follow us, follow one quest on Twitter, <laughs> and have them retweet us. <laughs> meow, meow, yeah, meow. yeah. Was, my buddy was like, I would love to have them as my best man. I'm like, dude, first you have to be able to get married first. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. But yeah, they, they can be part of your bridal party. They'll, they'll bring groomsmen or bridesmaids. Yeah. I would love to, like, just seeing them walk out in, like, the bridesmaids' dresses. Because you know they would do that. It'd be ridiculous. They they probably would. Isn't isn't it, like, the search for Meow or something? Isn't that what, they, like, they're trying to tag it as? I don't know, because there's been so many rumors about it in the past. Like, at one point, it was going to be, like, take place in the 70s. Oh, God. As all of their dad, like, they were going to basically play their, their characters' dads. <laughs> <laughs> But you figure doing that, like, their dads wouldn't necessarily have been older than they were because it was the 70s. Yeah. Like, their dads could have been the same age that they were in the first movie. Because they were trying to make a sequel, like, right away. Yeah. And then would have, would have had the same awful mustaches. <laughs> I'm excited for that. I love well, Super one, one of the things was to get a mustache. They would send you a mustache and uh, a mirrored glasses, I think. I thought about doing that, but I'm like, I don't have the money for it. Uh, Steven Spielberg to direct Ready Player One movie. Did anybody else read that book? Yeah, so it's it's a lot of um, Atari references because that's... The, it's, the book takes place in like the future where like virtual reality is like real and people spend all their time in like the game world. Um, kind of like Dot .hack. Awesome. And, or Sword Art Online. Yeah, <laughs> and the guy who invented the game was like a huge fan of like stuff in the 80s because that's when he grew up. So when he died, he released like his will and his will said that there's like a hidden easter egg in the game and if you follow the clues, you win like all of the game money. Like because you basically like in in game becomes real currently for, currency for your real life. So like if you earn money in the game, you use it to like buy your groceries and they deliver them to you and shit like that. Hmm. You go to school in the game. Honestly, if that's how the world worked, I think like we eliminate war, like <laughs> physical war. <laughs> yeah, I know we'd be like the we'd be like the jocks in high school. Like we're gonna fucking kill everyone. Man. The Walking Dead spinoff show has its title revealed. It's called Fear the Walking Dead. Lazy How fucking, fucking title. generic of a fucking title. They just gave up. They're just like, eh. It's like, oh, you should be scared of The Walking Dead. At least the Breaking Bad spinoff got like a, like, like Better, Better Call, Call Sal Call. makes sense. Yeah. Why can't it be West Coast Walking Dead? West Coast Walking Dead. I mean, <laughs> New 52, it, that's all I have to say. Like, no, no, not, no, not everyone West is. West Coast Avengers worked. West Coast Walking Dead can work. <laughs> I like how you always bring up the new 52, but you don't read any of it. Well, no, no, no. It's, just, it's not creative. Oh, there's 52 two weeks in the year. Oh, let's do new 52. No, but the, the thing is that they wrapped... We, we have, I know. There's 52 new books. They did 52 new books because there's 52 new weeks in a year. They have 52 universes because there's 52 weeks in a year. 52. Like, it's... But, why not 42? That's the meaning of life and everything else. That's the meaning of life in one thing. But you figure doing 52... 52 makes sense. Like, they, they took uh, something that, that's that set in stone. There's yeah. always 52 weeks in a year. And cause they've been doing it since, like, 2008. Because when they did Final Crisis, they had the, the weekly series 52. It ran for 52 issues. And it, it bridged the gap between Final Crisis and one year later, I think. It's just it's just not <laughs> creative, and you you guys are saying that Fear the Walking Dead isn't creative. Well, N- New Fifty Two is more 52. creative than Fear the Walking but Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. Fear what you are supposed title. to be scared of. The title is hey, we're just going to throw the word fear in front of the title of our other TV show. Fear is the whole premise yeah, of the show. They, they like, didn't have a, have a book called the New Fifty Two. I know, but like everything they wow. do. With the new with the fifty two or with the universes, it's fifty two, and I mean the new fifty two launched in in two thousand eleven, and they they don't really focus on things being fifty two in any of the books. Like it fifty two has nothing to do with it other than the imprint of it. Just like Ultimate Marvel is an imprint. Yeah, I just I don't, know. I don't think the name is as bad as everyone's saying it is. Fear the Walking Dead. Okay. As though you wouldn't fear them. No, it's Fear the Walking Dead because Fear the Walking Dead. What would you name it? What would you name a Walking Dead spinoff? Something. Don't put Walking Dead in the title. West Coast Walking Dead. They could have called it The Survivors 
or I, they could have done what? Survive the Walking Dead? Is that no, better? no, the survivors, the survivors of the Walking Dead. No, but fucking take the, the Walking, Walking Dead, Dead out of the time. To be no, it, it does does so. Look, Breaking Bad has the spinoff Better Call Saul. There is no part in Better Call Saul that it says Better Call Saul the Breaking Bad. Yeah. Saul is in the walk is in Breaking Bad. No, Saul's in the Walking Dead. No, Better Call Saul. <laughs> No, he's Saul, <laughs> Saul is in Breaking Bad. So when and everyone loves Saul. So when you see Better Call Saul and they say we're doing a spinoff with Saul because everyone loves him. Oh, Brand Association because he's in it. Fear the Walking Dead. Aren't I? I don't think there's any character crossover because it's the fucking West Coast. I know there's West no character Coast Walking crossover. Dead works then. The, that's what? why they could have called it. Anything they wanted because to, of the brand association, and they came up with it. the most goddamn generic fucking title. That they really could have gone with a different title because it's going to have the same style and the same type of walkers and stuff in it. It's not like they're going campy with it. It's not going to be like walkers with like really bad like nineteen sixties makeup. It's still going to be the same like production team behind it. Well, not the same exact team, but the same companies are behind it. So. They're going to style the walkers the same way. The The environments are going to look similar. It You don't need to actually have in the title of the show The Walking Dead. Or they could have... Um, or, I mean, I'm trying to think. There's there's something out there that had, like, like basically subtitled The uh, the Walking Dead. or Yeah, like like The Walking Dead Presents or something like that. Uh, yeah. like And had, had, like, a real title for it. Like, something that set it aside from Walking Dead. Because really, like... Fear the Walking Dead does not lead me to really want to go watch this show. It could have just might as well just called it more The Walking Dead. No, that's like, really what it is. Yeah, we, really yeah, sure. but it, why? Like, why come up with the? I want to know the pitch meeting for that fucking name. You know, like <laughs> your microphone's been off. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I don't care anymore. Uh, yeah, like, I, I get what you're saying, but I just, I, why not give it another name? Like, I, I, again, I, I'm not one of the, I, know, I under, I understand your argument. I understand your argument. They're both valid. Yeah. We're done. Move on. Why are you getting so mad? Because we do this on like every fucking topic. You get mad at us for not I'm not mad. Now you're getting I'm, mad oh, at us shut for talking. up. I'm not mad. I'm just moving on to the next topic because we're just going to talk in circles. A different name would have been better. Right. It would have been All better. Right, sure. But it's also, at the same time, doesn't make a difference. Because, again, your, val- your your points are valid. But Walnut's points are almost valid, too. It's It doesn't make a difference. What they We're not the execs. It doesn't matter. It is a generic title. I agree. All right. Well, look. But it makes up, sense. Hugh Jackman teased one last time for Wolverine by taking a picture of his hands with claws popping out of it while he ate breakfast. That's weird. He posted it on his Facebook. It was just the one hand had like the the Wolverine claws like photoshopped onto it. I didn't see those. But. He posted it on like his personal Facebook thing with like his breakfast in front of him, and it was just his his fist on the thing, and he had Wolverine claws out of the one hand. Your dog's and, farting, and I hate it. I know. <laughs> yeah, he he does that. I didn't see the picture, but I did. Yeah, I heard one last time, which is kind of sad. Has he done anything else? Hugh Jackman. Uh, yeah, he was in La Miserable. Le- Les oh, Miserable. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to say that. Chappie. Um, Chappie. He was in Chappie. He just did the um, the Peter Pan movie. He's playing the villain, Blackbeard. There's a yeah. Peter Pan movie. Coming yeah, out. called Ooh. Pan. Oh boy! <laughs> he shaved his head and got like this like villain goatee going on. He's got like this awesome beard going on. It He's done really Real cool. Steel a couple years ago. Yeah, Hugh Jackman does stuff. Hmm. He's a cool guy. He hosts um, award shows that they let him sing at occasionally. Yeah. Any like companion pit I have, I name Hugh Jackman in like a video game. Loves Hugh Jackman. What? My dog in Dragon Age. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> your everything was named Hugh Jackman. Yeah. What was like it your Dragon Day. Quest characters? Were Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, someone else, and someone Dragon else? Dragon Quest? Oh, yeah. Dragon Quest I did, 9? I did have Hugh Jackman. I don't think I had Ryan Reynolds. Though. Well, I swear to God, you were Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, somebody else, and yourself, just because you could. <laughs> going to hang out with these guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't remember. It was dumb as shit. Uh, so on the video game news? Yeah. Go ahead, Walnuts. No further God of War remasters planned. Just God of War three. That's disappointing. Do you really want another remastered God of War though? Three was really nice looking. I don't think I need that remastered. Well, it's gonna be on PS4. Yeah. They've already. It's it's coming. It's coming yeah. in like a month. So. Yeah. All right, but. It's coming because the there's nothing else coming out video game wise. It's. Yeah. 
remasters. Mm. Sony just needs some uh, shelf space. More or less. Yeah. They're like, hey, know. here's... Some, some games can go for remastering, but they're huge, they'd are be huge projects in themselves. But that, those are... The games are thinking about, like, two generations back. Yeah. If I, can... I don't even know if God of War is getting... God of War 3 is getting any, uh... Like, new models or anything. I think it's just literally rendered at 1080p with 60 frames a second. I think that's all that's happening. Yeah. Like, it's just otherwise. Here's your PS3 game with mm-hmm. better stuff. They just gotta hook it into, like, the PS4 framework and... Yeah. That'd be neat. Pretty simple. Um, it's my turn. It is your turn, isn't it? It is. Well, it's, you can talk. Huh? You don't have to be grumpy. Oh, I'm just thinking God of War 3 is a very uh, great title. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Well, it's, it's, well, it's not, Fear of the Walking Dead. It's not a spin God of War 3. Yeah, it's a sequel. It's not it's a spin It's a sequel. It's a sequel, not a spin off. You don't see Sprint. Harry. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them is a Harry Potter spinoff. They're not calling That's it. That's a spinoff. <laughs> that was mentioned in the books, though. doesn't matter. It's it was mentioned in the books. Better Call Saul was mentioned in the show. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that's, that was his fucking slogan. Of spinoffs get different names. Like, the X-Files <laughs> spinoff wasn't the X-Files was the other... Yeah, it was the Lone Gunman. I didn't even Family know they had a spinoff. It, Family was, Ma- like uh, it was so bad. Yeah. It was yeah. so bad. Family Matters wasn't called Perfect Strangers 2. No. <laughs> what? Cleveland show isn't called Family Guy. The Cleveland show. The show Family Matters. But Cleveland is family in Family Guy. guy. <laughs> and ha- and Harriet Winslow right. was in Perfect Strangers. Right. She operated right. the elevator that um, cousin Larry and Balky used. Anyway. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get so no. bitter. It's all awesome. just saying. I mean, so I don't, bitter. I don't get all my points in, so I, I get to get bitter sometimes. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. It's just that was a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, though. I'm, I'm I'll, walking I'll, be down honest, I'll be honest with you. David Jaffe originally wanted to call all of the games God of War, but for marketing, marketing wouldn't let him do it. That so, would be awesome. There you go. Hey, look. You know what? Fear, <laughs> Fear the Walking yeah, Dead do it. is better not than to. the Fast and the Furious titles. The Fast and the Furious, <laughs> Too Fast and Furious, game. Tokyo Drift is just Fast stupid. And Furious, Tokyo Drift, then yeah. Fast and Furious is four. It's just they dropped the the and the ends from yeah. it. Uh-huh. And then what was it? Fast Five. Uh-huh. Fast Five. And then uh, the I don't know what Six was. The new one, no, the new one is Furious know, Seven. Uh, it's Furious Seven. Furious Six I think and Furious six was Fast and Furious. Fast and the Furious. No, four was Fast and Furious. I think six was Fast, the Fast and the Furious. That I was think one. Was, I know. I think six just retitled it, like took it again. No, it had a six. Then. It was Did Furious, it? Furious Six, and it's gonna be Furious Seven. No, I'm looking it up, furious guys. Six. I'm looking it up. There's no way it was Furious <laughs> no, Six. That's the furious movie title. I need to see Furious Seven. It looks ridiculous. I need to see all those movies. I haven't seen any of them since Tokyo Drift. I've heard they've gotten progressively more ridiculous and good. From Fast Fast and Furious, the fourth one, they're no longer about, like, douchebags racing down streets. They're about douchebags stealing shit in fast cars. Okay. So they did get better. That more interesting. All right. So it it was the Fast and the Furious. Yep. Too Fast, Too Furious. Mm -hmm. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Mm Mm-hmm. Fast and Furious with yep. an ampersand this time. Oh, Fast Five, uh-huh. Fast and Furious Six with an ampersand. See, so they jumped back to the original naming convention almost. And then this one is fa- Furious Seven. Yep, and I think this is supposed to be the last one too. Well, what, no, what, what, they, there's what a future listed on this. Like, keep going. This is seven. No, no, I mean like, how many movies have there been? That's seven. So, There's seven movies. Okay. Yeah, but so well, seven. So chronologically, though, it goes one, two, four, five, six, three, seven. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happens after all the other movies. But before Seven, before seven. because the kid from Tokyo Drift is in Seven. Oh, because so the Asian weird. guy from Tokyo Drift was in everything up till Six. Oh, but he God. dies in Tokyo Drift. Yeah. So good. And, that this and, movie has, that these movies have an actual <laughs> timeline. It's Jason, stupid. Jason Statham somehow magically is the one who killed the Asian guy in Three, and he's now going after Dominic so, in Seven. Do you guys... um? I lost track of thought there for a second. Did, I know you said you watched Impractical Jokers, right? Yeah, I do. Do any of... Yeah. Okay, so the two guys, um, Q and Sal, they do a podcast. Yeah. And they've been watching all the Fast and the Furious movies for the first time ever, mm-hmm. and then talking about them. Nice. <laughs> they watched the first one. At about 40 minutes into it, they stopped the movie to come back and record, because they're watching them then recording. Yeah. 
because they didn't know what was going on because the movie makes so little sense. Oh yeah, no, it makes no sense. <laughs> was, it, they they stopped three times, I think, for for Too Fast, Too Furious, just to be like, I hate, I hate what the fuck. Movie. Second movie was the worst. Yeah, in the, in the first one, it's um, it starts off with Dominic and it, well, you don't know Dominic and his team, so it's people robbing a truck, a tractor, like a, a semi, and then it shows Paul Walker and he's acting all ghetto, and he goes to Dominic's sister's work, and. He gets into trouble. He gets a tuna sandwich. He gets in a fight with the other guy yeah. because he likes the tuna sandwich, and fucking nobody likes the tuna. Exactly. And Come on, just, guys. Nobody it likes the tuna. Absolutely no sense how they get from point A to point B in that movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Should I just start watching them at four? And no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You no, have to watch those first, first two because it, it builds the relationship. I Should honestly, I watch them in and look, you order, order, yeah, order. Wa- wa- No, no. Because Tokyo Drift is so bad, you want to yeah. watch it early. Look, okay. all, I've only seen the first three, and I still love these fucking movies. So, so good. The second one has Tyrese. Yeah, oh, I hated the second every one. other word so when him when him and Paul Walker are together bra. are bra. What's up, bra? Hey, yeah, bra. come on, bra. Hey, bra. Let's I stuffed my pants bra. full of money, bra. Hey, bra. <laughs> Because, so because Fast and the Furious 2 and 3 were before Vin Diesel actually decided that uh, all the money were no, in sequence. No, he was in 3. He, he, he cameoed at the, at the end, end of 3. three. He cameoed. Three, yeah. That was before he realized, oh, wait, there's money in sequels. So let me start doing these sequels. All right. But they, um, I forget what I was going to say about it now. Fuck. Oh, the first one and the second one. So the le- fucking... Um, Tyrese and Paul Walker are like childhood fucking friends in the second one. Yeah. Tyrese taught Paul Walker how to drive 100 miles an hour and stare at a girl. <laughs> right? At the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the, don't you remember in the movie, like, when they when when yeah. Ava Mendez first gets in the car, she's like, maybe you should keep your eyes on the road, and Paul Walker just looks her in the eye and, like, speeds up down the highway. Mm-hmm. And and then Tyrese pulls up next to him and, and goes, he's doing that drive and stare shit? I taught him that. <laughs> Does that mean they were staring longingly into each other's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> But, so, why didn't Paul Walker know how to drive better in the first movie? Why was he like a bitch at the beginning of it when it came he, to racing? He had he to was make, pretending. he was, no, he was, he was undercover. He was going to the racetrack by himself to practice racing. He was pretending. By himself? Yeah, because people are watching. No one was watching. Got yeah. eyes everywhere. No one even knew he was doing that. Eyes everywhere, no, bro. He was, he was using his police badge to get in there and do the fucking no, fake races. No, no, here's what it is. Here's what it is. He couldn't race unless there was a hot girl in the passenger seat for right. him to stare at. Or Tyrese. All he learned. <laughs> or Tyrese. That's all he learned was how to drive like that. <laughs> Man, but really, listen. I listened to the first two podcasts those guys did for the first two movies, and you really realize how... Re- like, fucking ludicrous. Raises a drawbridge while his friends are racing all over it. Yeah. Like, he totals four <laughs> fucking cars <laughs> racing this drawbridge, and all the people are cool with it. Because Ludacris is... It, it was ma- it's some Mario Kart shit. Because it's Ludacris. Uh, no, no, seriously. It was fucking Mario Kart. Paul Walker, at one point, hits the NOS like a fucking mushroom in Mario Kart and boosts over the other guy when they fly off the bridge. Yeah. Why not? Someone played Mario Kart Double Dash. Yes, they did. <laughs> you, you do the jump at the right time, you go higher. All right, guys. On to back, back to the news. Um... This one's kind of sad. I already cry for a second. Wait, who's who's? Oh, it's you. It's gonna be me. By the okay. way, this is a horrible title for a game. <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> Batman: Arkham Knight. It's been delayed again by 21 days <laughs> to June 23rd. I wonder is what they have to fix reason, that they can or? fix in such a short yeah, amount of time. Yeah. Three we need weeks. three weeks to make sure Batman <laughs> doesn't have nipples. I don't know. It's, and it's not like there's anything else coming out that date that it's trying to avoid because it's fucking June. So. Oh, maybe they're adding like... Um, I don't know. Maybe they're adding the nipples. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe they're adding unlockables and you can play as um, Val Kilmer or um, Dude, George Clooney's Batman. That would be the best. <laughs> well, they did have the classic when you have those costumes on. Or Origins. <laughs> That'd be great. Chris O'Donnell can be Robin in it. That'll be fantastic. Oh, that'd be horrible. He's like, he was like 40-year-old Robin. Yeah. I, know. I think he was older than Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but yeah. No, uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's kind of sucky, but I mean, at least it's still in June, so it's not too bad. And hey, it seems like when they're, when they're at least when these games are getting delayed now, they're coming out less broken. Yeah, no. So I mean, that's... Order was delayed by months, wasn't it? Yeah, like six months. Uh, Not six months. It was supposed to come out in November. It came out in February. So... 
four months four months yeah mm. and it's good it's it's one of those things that I, i'm beginning to notice is whenever a game is announced the first time don't expect it that first time because everybody everybody both xbox and playstation on both sides they're announcing games way too early just to drum up the excitement and then going oh shit we really don't have enough time to make this game as yeah. good as we need to so we're gonna push it i mean deadlines are funny things but it's like <clears throat> the marketing people want it like at mm-hmm. that date and because how easy it is to update games now and yeah. fix bugs on an update versus that like the, we can they can push out without with some bugs that aren't that critical yeah well like, i don't know what the hell happened with that assassins the recent assassins Creed game. that's, that's <laughs> like, what got everybody to start pushing their shit back though that's good that's a great thing because like but that, I mean, those were noticeable bugs, and to ha- to let that slide, even oh, on God. a marketing perspective, like horrible, it, it tarnishes your name. Like it's because Ubisoft is filled with a bunch of douchebags that don't care about anything not, but they're, money. They're, they're no. so big, is what it is. They have so many teams, and they that franchise. It, it, people, I wanted to buy. I, I buy all the Assassin's Creed. I haven't bought the recent ones because I'm getting too tired of them. There's so many of them. It's getting the markets. Yeah. You know, the game market is like saturated with them, and yep. I just don't want to deal with it right now. Maybe I'll play them later. Maybe I'll read about it. Yeah. But like that's it's just Ubisoft so big, and that's their money maker. And then what was it? What else did they? They another new game, Watch Dogs. Yep. I mean, they made it like very Assassin's Creed esque. <laughs> So they, they modern kinda, day they Assassin's kinda, Creed, the game. Keep that same vibe. The only other game that's kind of oh, it's re- kind of just reused their old stuff, like uh, Rayman, right? Rayman. Rayman's yeah. newer. Well, what do you mean, like? Oh, that, they, they don't. That's they don't the only it. game that they make that isn't open world. Yeah, <laughs> it's Rayman. <laughs> all the rest of the games are like, hey, like Far Cry, Watch Dogs, and Assassin's Creed are all like, okay, so we have the, and and the crew are all like, hey, we have this really cool formula for open world games. Let's just apply it to modern day hackers. We'll apply it to <laughs> these pirates and ancient assassins. We'll apply it to a first person game on an island or now in the Himalayas. Mm-hmm. Oh, and cars because that makes a lot of fucking sense. Yo, take that car climb that tower so you can see the rest of the map bitches fucking the crew it's what? ridiculous like you know how assassin's creed the crew has tower? fucking towers you the climb the tower to see the towers. map the crew you don't climb towers but you have to go up like weird ass fucking mountains and shit and find your way up to satellites in the middle of nowhere it's, you drive oh, cars Jesus Christ. that's all you at no point are you out of the cars you are always in the cars <laughs> Like, and it is fu- it it has the exact same formula of the Assassin's Creed games. And then it's so bad. My favorite was Shadows of Mordor just combined like Batman combat uh-huh. style with Assassin's Creed mechanics. And, and it did it better than both of those games. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. Like, this works, this works, this works. Let's just put it in one game. Uh the, and then the only problem they had is they took the the Batman final boss fights and threw that in there too. That was the only downside I had to to Shadow of Mordor. So like mm. quick time event boss fight. I was like, really? I had, I had to be uh, it's a quick time event. It's kind of sad. Mm. <laughs> it's like everything else was so good. Anywho, you want to move on? Yeah. Rainbow Six Siege closed beta coming to PS4, Xbox, and PC. Date unknown. I signed up on their website because I want to play that shit. I watched a video from the alpha that probably should have never been online. Yeah. Looks fucking rad as shit. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. Uh, that that first announcement trailer at E3 was it last year's E3 or the year before? <sighs> it was last year's. Yeah, that was so fucking cool. <gasps> I might be playing on a plane. E3. I might be able to watch E3 live for once. This is oh, great, man. This is so awesome. Sorry. <laughs> the the map they were playing was on a plane. Yeah, and that had all the barricade shit right. and whatnot. And on a fucking plane, it looks crazy. Is it flying? No. Oh. It was on like it was down on the tarmac. That so you, so much better. So you could flying. like climb up inside the uh, the landing gear, but or you could go up like they had the stairway yeah. to the door, and like you had multiple entrances in yeah. and multiple like spots you could pick to start. Yeah. So that's fucking. I wonder that if so that video is still online. Watch it. Yeah, I'll it's check it two out. rounds of it. Okay, the game looks so good. Ugh. Next, uh, Twitch released info that there was unauthorized ca- account access for users. They've expired all passwords and taken off any connected services. There's really nothing to talk about in game news this week. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I haven't used my Twitch account since Destiny. <laughs> yeah, me either. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not. 
too serious. I'm not sure how what stream tokens work, but I mean passwords are encrypted anyway, and by the time they can decrypt that stuff, it's the password expires. I think. Actually, yeah. I don't think do password expire on Twitch. No. Well, they just they force them all to expire. Yeah. yeah. So. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Thing, like, you need a new password. Fix it. Yeah. It, it happens, especially if it's something like Twitch, where a lot of at like I think Fortune. Anonymous, all those groups just go and like harass people. Or isn't people anonymous game? like something that spun off of 4chan? Like, isn't that so. where that group kind of came together? Kinda, yeah. I, and I want to say like they're more of like the like 4chan. I think they're more assholes. At anonymous, which did spin off, is they're more like all right, let's fucking kill or get ISIS and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, or, anonymous is very anti-corporate. Yeah, that's yeah. what they tend to do. That's they're the people that want to go after Sony and Microsoft and bring down their. The that was their Lizard online Squad. services, huh? That was Lizard. No, no, I'm not saying that they that they did it. I'm saying like that's the type of stuff that yeah. anonymous, like they're anti-government, anti-corporation, like hmm. they they want they're information. Anti, anti. The they, prob- they want information to be readily available to everybody. They don't want all yeah. the secret bullshit and money that's yeah. Like when um dur- when the Boston bomber happened was it last year or so, something like that? Yeah. I Two followed years, yeah. I followed um anonymous news because they were constantly doing updates this was going on this was going on these people have to stay about like over and over and i was like this is actually really interesting i want to keep up on this but then after all that was resolved and i kept following them on twitter i don't follow them because they just post way too goddamn much the so, problem shit. with anonymous is like half the time like because they're anonymous people can say that they did things because in the name of anonymous yeah. when they aren't really related at all and like They'll do fucked up thing that's really goddamn annoying, like hack the PSN or whatever. Yep. And then be like, super cool, fuck ISIS. Yeah. We're hacking their shit. And it's like, fucking, I hate that you're anonymous and you want to be, they try to be awesome and assholes. And yeah. it's like, what? Ugh. It's just it's just annoying. It's like some kid gets access to it and he's like, "Yeah, I'm going to be well, anonymous and does something it's, stupid." It's it's not it's like just it's like religion. Yeah. Like it, like there's Muslim terrorists and there's like Muslim, you know, peace activists. Muslim the yeah, guy. Yeah, and like they just do it in the name of that group. <laughs> yeah. And and it's just what it's what's happening is good. I guess there's yeah. good anonymous is bad anonymous. Exactly. <laughs> it's just one guy who's just going yeah. out there ha- hacking network PlayStation network cuz he's a douchebag. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're all doing that. Yeah, and most true. of them usually they get pissed off at the guy that does do that yeah. because they're like, "No, nah, why the fuck would you do that? Like yeah. that was stupid." So, and they usually go after those people. <laughs> they, they, anonymous returns fire against the people that do that shit because they're like, "We why? There's no reason." Which that's usually why. I'm I'm all right with anonymous. Lizard mm-hmm. Squad, I hate those guys. They ruin Christmas. Yeah. Fucking assholes. They ruined your Christmas. They ruined everyone's Christmas. Who could play Destiny at Christmas? No one. Who I wanted to I was going to say, by Christmas, Christmas, there were a lot of people that wanted Destiny I, for Christmas. I didn't leave my Did house until 6 o'clock for Christmas like I dinner. I wanted day, to play right? Destiny. Yeah. I, got, I got Destiny launch day, but I'm sure there were a yeah. lot of people that didn't. Because there were a lot of new consoles sold that fucking holiday. A like lot that. of new consoles sold. And Destiny was packed with a lot of PlayStations. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, who's next? Cobb. Cobb. Oh, is it me? Holy shit. Christopher. Fuck. Um, okay. Sony is working on a patch for Bloodborne to fix load times and smooth out gameplay. So why are you reading so fast? I don't know. So um, <laughs> what I was saying. <laughs> Sony put out the patch for Cobb to read news. Oh, <laughs> good, good job, Sony. And I mean, on the gameplay, patch. whatever that means. I don't know what the gameplay part was. Um, I, it, it was the wording of the of the thing I read. I don't know if there's really anything to improve or if it's just make if if that is included in the load times. I, I did. I've read, heard there yeah. are some bug like some progression bugs. I did read about that yeah and it's probably that kind of thing okay, that they're fixing yeah. less some, the game physical gameplay right some random bugs that yeah, they're trying to knock out apparently the load times are pretty gameplay. bad though but yeah i mean i heard it's about 40 seconds 40 to 45 seconds which is not great but i mean destiny was almost as long and yeah. I mean, and look at the problems with destiny you don't fucking die as much in destiny yeah no again and the, yeah, like, that's, isn't, yeah. isn't that's that the, the whole point, point of it, oh yeah i see what you're saying yeah, in bloodborne you fucking die and every time you die it's a 40 second load <laughs> twice yeah well in destiny not necessarily because you don't always come back in the hunter stream you sometimes come back in the area you are so it's not necessarily okay. two. it's only but, two yeah. if you want to go back to hunter stream and then back then it's three so yeah, yeah. normally it's just the one 
I'm hoping to get to play that sometime this week. Bloodborne? So I'll play. Yeah, because I'm going to try and cycle through as much stuff with Gamefly as I can. I mean, if you're just, in the order, you're going to first. <laughs> yeah, I should have the order, I'm hoping, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow or Tuesday. Yeah. And I mean, if you beat it in eight hours, I probably won't beat it at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I mean, I but, don't think I need a third heart attack game. I want Bloodborne <laughs> so bad. But I, I have the month, and I, I only I, I went through and I basically just added the new titles. Yeah, all two so, of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to add Evolve, but then I realized no one I know has it, so yeah. I'm not really going to have any fun playing with people that have been playing yeah. for Black a Friday, month already. I think we'll all get it Black Friday. Steam sale. Yeah. I'd rather play on PC anyway, mm-hmm. but I'll probably get it for PS4. Uh, yeah, I want Bloodborne so bad. Yep. Well, that's kind of, I mean, it's an example of what I was saying earlier. The game's in a working state, just not working the best, so yeah. they make tweaks. That's yeah, cool. it's, you know, if they can lower the, the, what's it called, the uh, load times, that'd be cool, mm-hmm. but if not, whatever, it's, yeah, it's not ideal, but, like, when I brought up Destiny, I mean, like, Destiny, you you load, you play the game for 10 minutes, and then you load, and then you load, and then you load, and then you play the game for 10 minutes, and then you load, and then Yeah, that was load, bad in Destiny. Load, like, the game for, so it's the same, lo- you might not be dying as frequently, but, I mean, if you're doing all right, you're not dying every four seconds, in, in you know, uh, you might at first, but after your, like, first couple hours, you'll be like... Hopefully surviving for an hour without dying. Uh, you never know. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's next? Richard. Me. I had walnuts. Legend of Zelda Wii U. I guess Possibly you need to be patched. Delayed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did that. Yeah. He's always working on the version of Ben Stein. Ben, yeah. version. <laughs> ben Stein. The Legend of Zelda Wii U is possibly delayed. Wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, what's the quote-unquote possibly? So uh, the fact that it may it was never really announced for this year. It was announced for this year. Okay. They, they basically but said there is no delayed till next year. It was they're not focusing on making it a 2015 release. They're they're going to make it a game and they're going to release it. But now they have all that mobile I'm stuff they're sure focusing on too. Said it's not coming this year. The last thing I read. Which was yesterday. I don't know unless it changed. I mean, you can prove me wrong if you want. But the last thing I read is is Director Anuma. He said uh, that that their main goal at this point is they they've started to discover all kinds of new things that they can do with an open world game. So their goal at this point is to make the game as best as they can and do all the best stuff that they can and not focus on a 2015 release. Oh, okay. so that it might not come out this year, but it might. Yeah, it's it's still up in the air. It's not yeah, that it's, I just. I Which just means, got all this together this morning, and yeah. I, that's that's the only stuff I saw was right. they're no longer focusing on getting the game out this year. When it comes out, it comes out. They right. want to make the best game they can. So, yeah, so it, I think like this, this like no rush thing is is starting to be, take I hold, like it. and I'm I'm enjoying that. Yeah, I mean the, the only downside to it is not having a rush to the games means fewer games, less like AAA games that we're seeing that it, people are really interested in, but it also means less. Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. yeah. D- yes. Exactly. And uh, is that what it was called? I was yeah, Unity. Brother, for I some d- reason, but it's not Brother. Brother was good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and it gives me a chance to catch up on my backlog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's... Uh, You're never catching up. Dude, I am. I've been... I Tell did. Tell you one, tell you two, first three... You're not even Cry. playing those. <laughs> well, I was playing uh, one with my girlfriend. We were yeah. playing two-player, and then I was like, I can play another game and just yep. watch this story unfold, because my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend enjoys the game, so I was like, I'm going to do that. I need Alger to play more games for me. <laughs> That's what I need. She can do that, yeah. and I can play my, P- my Vita games and shit. And, uh, and she's yeah. really, and Karina's really like excited about trophies and stuff too. So she'll get like as much as she can. But when she was like, "I'm not getting, I'm not making twenty, I'm not paying off this loan." Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting. Not at fifty-two trophies. hours. Ugh. Do you yeah, have to pay hours. it off? You don't have to pay it off. I think you only need to pay off maybe like a million, which to get fi- to like the end or whatever, something like that. Mm. Maybe I don't know. We're down to fifteen. I don't know, but yeah. not not the whole thing though. No. Yeah. It just actually. <clears throat> I think typically people are like at fifteen million, and that you have to grind the rest of that down. It takes fifty-two hours to get to that much, and yeah, yeah. it'll probably take less time as you get further. I'm sure get more money. So yeah, <clears throat> go ahead, Eric. Me, Truton, you yeah. didn't have anything to add. No, didn't think so. No. Suck it. <laughs> but them not showing it at E3 this year. It's whatever. Is it's, yeah. I don't I mean, know. Look, what the I, fuck is Nintendo am, showing at E3? Am this I year? expecting it this year? No. Like, but they didn't outright say that it's not coming this year. But it, uh, I guess everybody pretty much expects it not to come this year. But it's 
you know, they're not focusing on the 20, 2015 release. And that's really, they're going to show us the new the new round of Amigos. We might well, see Amigos. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the new round of three. Amigos. That's, amigos. that's how much I don't care about them. Uh, well, well, no, honestly, but, they should have called it Amigo with two eyes. That would have made a yeah. lot more, not uh, more yeah. sense. So that would have been pretty good. Hey, wait. Yeah. It, is it maybe like a translation error? <laughs> yeah, right. G's and B's. Like, well, no, oh, I think they would. I don't think you could, they translate Spanish to <laughs> Japanese <laughs> <laughs> differently. <laughs> maybe they do. Uh, yeah, no. Um, there's always Star Fox, and you know, I mean, the, the, the same well, question goes for everybody else at E3 well, this year. Well, what no, the fuck is anybody? We're going we to see all the trailers from last year that they're yeah, still working we, on. Hey, this game that's coming out in 2016, maybe. <laughs> we even asked ourselves this about Nintendo last year. What the fuck are they going to show us this year? And then they showed us Legend of Zelda yeah. with the background of Miyamoto. And when Miyamoto was talking at one point, the background was uh, Star Fox. So maybe they'll show us more Star Fox. Star Fox is still, uh, as far as we know, on on schedule for this year, um, and it was supposed to come out before Zelda. So even if Zelda gets pushed back, that means that you know, and 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 uh, Star Fox gets pushed back, then Star Fox might be pushed back from a potential summer to a fall release. You know, so yeah. we'll still see them. But yeah, I mean, it goes for, it's with everybody. What the fuck is anybody putting out this year? And what are we going to see? D three? No one fucking knows because everything's been delayed. Um, Dragonage Inquisition had its first DLC released. Uh, it's called the Jaws of Hakon. That's what they say in the trailer. It looked to me like Hakon, but they called it Hakon. I was like, it's weird. Um, I guess two Ks uh, make the CK sound. Uh, Hakon instead of instead of Hakon. I don't know. It just seemed weird because um, they say everything with cool pronunciations in that game, and this is they should have put it like a tilde or something. Like, over like Hakon, it. Or like, like really Hakon. Anyway, uh, it's on PC and Xbox, uh, and there's no date set for PS4 mm. yet, which makes me really sad. So you said Dragonage earlier, yeah, and I had no idea what you're talking about. I was like, what is Dragonage? <laughs> Dragonage. I was like, huh? it's Dragon Age. It's Dragon Dragon Age. Age. Okay. There's no space though. It's Dragonage. Dragonage. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, I guess I should clarify that. Yeah, it's Dragon Age Inquisition, everybody. Uh, yeah, so first DLC. It's I've, I've heard it's kind of neat. Uh, of getting like all right reviews, but whatever. I'll play it eventually if it hits PS4. If not, I'll be sad. So there. And there's only one news left. Mm. And our special cover? guest gets to read it. Ooh, should I read the whole URL too? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> no, I have the URL. Open. I have it open too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. GameStop Spring Sale. So, yeah. guess see. who's getting Assassin's Creed Unity for twenty bucks? Right here. I, I guess three out of five of us. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, Shaw had probably two. Four out of yeah, five. Yeah, I didn't look at this. Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah. So it's <laughs> exactly uh, uh, probably four. Definitely. Right now. Uh, by the time this goes up, it'll be over. But Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare is only forty bucks. I'm gonna fucking post this today. Yeah, uh, <laughs> go good for luck. It. Yeah, uh, otherwise it's up until Tuesday, the thirty first. Uh, Lego Batman is the that's yeah, already Lego over. Batman is twenty dollars off. That that's, ends today. Oh, that's end. Okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, so they have the week after is Far Cry Four for thirty dollars off. That's not bad. Actually. So that starts Wednesday. Yeah, and same with Assassin's Creed Unity is forty dollars off. Did you already get Far Cry Four? No, I didn't. You die. So that's don't get it. So I'll try really I'm hard to get this to. edited and put up. I can't buy anything. <laughs> don't let your wife get it. She's gonna get me Bloodborne. Okay, I've been hinting Ooh. at it so fucking hard. So she's gonna end up getting you something different. No, she actually because I've been saying that Evolve. I wanted to uh, rent. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this? I've been saying that I wanted to rent. Uh, uh, the order for a while. I hope she buys you the order. No, because she <laughs> joked about that the other day. Because like, and I was telling her, I was like, I really want Bloodborne. And so when I returned the order on Friday, um, Friday morning, she was like, I, I told her I picked up a movie and everything. She's like, All right, so did you like that game? I was like, Yeah, it was cool. She's like, So you want me to buy it for you? I was like, <laughs> No, there's another game I'd rather you buy me. She's like, I know, it's Bloodborne. I was like, Holy shit, you remembered? <laughs> How funny would that be <laughs> if she, if she, when she got to the store though, she got them confused. Uh, she bought you the order <laughs> and I'd return it and get Bloodborne. But she opened yeah, it for you and put it in the PlayStation. <laughs> she, would never do that. <laughs> She's, she would never do that. Uh, That'd yeah. be hilarious. It would be though. horrible. Uh, but yeah, so. That's that's uh, I want Bloodborne. So or bad. she buys it free for the Xbox. I want Bloodborne so bad. Uh, also, guys, my birthday's coming up. Uh, so if anybody wants to head to artisandice.com and buy me anything, I'd be really happy. He has an Amazon wish list. I have an Amazon wish games. list with a bunch of board. This games is like the too. fourth week in a row you've pointed out your birthday's coming up. <laughs> well, my birthday's coming up, and yeah, I'm on didn't a tour. Tell us so his I need, coming up. I need somebody to True. treat me. Drew to my kept birthday. it quiet. It was his birthday. So what's <laughs> artisan dice? Yeah, don't buy me anything from there. They're like two hundred dollar dice sets. <laughs> but, oh, okay. I, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. 
It's kind of awesome. <laughs> They're made out of like really rare woods and stones. So you can get you can get marble dice for like two hundred bucks. Oh my god, that seems reasonable. It's not though because you can't roll them together. You have to roll them separately, or else they'll hit each other and chip. <laughs> It's like, no, thank you. They make, wall, they make metal dice. They make, like, super clear acrylic dice that you can just see straight through. It's a really cool website. They have magnetic six-sided dice. Yeah. And the wood magnetic. die that they have, they have some really, like, unique different woods that just look really cool. They have bad CSS. It's pretty neat. Yeah, their website's not great. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's otherwise, the stuff they have is pretty neat. But I wouldn't want those anyway. I'm just kidding. Uh, I think that's pretty much it because we don't have any emails. David! No, don't blame David. No, I'm not blaming David. Blame everybody else that doesn't send us emails. Yeah. This episode is dedicated to... I need a name, guys. I got nothing. Did we do Alex? I don't think we've done, we've done Alex. We've done no, Alex. we've never done Alex. No, Alex. Done so this episode is dedicated to Alex. Thank you, Alex, for listening. Uh, if you're a boy or a girl, that doesn't matter to us. Um, if you email us or, or, or tweet us, Hang we'll, on, we'll might, give you a thanks. That might matter to Richie. Yeah, well... <laughs> Well, my my uh, former um, does it matter to Richie? <laughs> my 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 former D and D character it didn't matter. It does matter to me. Is, you're not gonna just have the same character to switch class? No, because I would have to I would, a charlatan bard. Why not? No, I would have to. I have to change because the I because the charlatan has different like class proficiencies that bard isn't gonna have. I just I have to change it up. Fine, whatever. Swap things out. I mean, sleight of hand works for bard too. He's sitting there making a performance, stealing shit out of people's purpose purses. They don't know purpose. Yeah, purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a bi character? Huh? No, his character wanted to bang everything though. I no, my character <laughs> fell in and out of love frequently. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone translated that to I'm a horn dog who wants to bang everything and anything that could walk. Yep. Well, the best one, my favorite one is Vogel's character who uh, <laughs> he talks down to those who are not as intelligent as he. He is the dumbest character. <laughs> <laughs> he has an intelligence of 8. And I think you're at an eight also. No, I'm a nine. You're a nine. Because I get plus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he is, he is the flag. dumbest character we have. And he, he just his character talks down to those with intelligence beneath him. And everybody's smarter than him. And it's fucking hilarious. Like, my, I would have liked my cleric had I done cleric. Because I was going to be the asshole like Bible belt like Bible humping, mm-hmm. Bible thumping. They're like, no, that religion is wrong. Fuck all of you. <laughs> you have to believe in th- this God. Or sure I am not it. healing you. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Before we <clears throat> do all the other sign off, do we want to talk about um, being on the podcast with James, or do we want to do that next week oh, since it yeah. won't drop well, until we the week can after? Just tell him. Because uh, his will drop Monday next week, which will be like a couple of days after hours anyway. Really. It'll be a couple of days before hours. And hours next week. Right. So, it'll be so, after, so we'll yeah. just mention. So, yeah, uh, we, me, uh, Druton, and Walnuts were on, uh, was it the Roundtable podcast? Yes, the Roundtable. The Roundtable podcast uh, with uh, an old friend of ours from high school, James Intracasso, uh, where they talk about D&D and stuff like that. And he wanted to just kind of interview us being new D&D players. Uh talk about our experiences uh, our, our our length of time playing and what we thought of it overall and just answer any questions of course i had a fuck ton of questions after we signed off like the next day i was like what the fuck why didn't i ask him this then i'm gonna tweet him a bunch of yeah. shit soon um send him are you friends with him on facebook no i don't well, friend him on facebook dude. yeah because he, he he'll facebook messenger and yeah that's easier i don't facebook messenger it's the worst mm-hmm. you, you want to ask all these questions in a hundred 140 character yeah. <laughs> question. And I want him to reply to them in 140 characters yeah. because that's probably going to be harder. Yeah. <laughs> True. I'm sure people have the same questions. So they'll just look. Yeah. Ah, it doesn't organize it well on Twitter. It's just a yeah, no. text. Not good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it was it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, we we talked about all kinds of stuff. We joked. Druton called me a shitty DM because he's an asshole. Um, I mean, that's yeah. why I didn't want to play. Well, I'm not a shitty DM. Also, you'd be the first one to die. Although that was walnuts. Any like, I didn't die. Apps or anything in place to organize character sheets. So there's there's there some is... stuff. There's was it roll twenty dot net? Is that the one? Yeah, uh, yeah. Roll twenty dot net. But see, there's nothing official. Yeah, like, there's, there's no. There was uh, fourth edition had a thing. Yeah, it's Wizards was working with a company to make one for fifth edition, one hundred percent official, and like. I think it was in October 
which is like right before, right, like literally two months before I grabbed all the books in October, they dropped everything. And and they left, and now they're working on a different rule set and everything for their stuff. And I was like, well, I don't care anymore. But it was a really cool system that was going to sync with phones, tablets, fucking PCs. Everything was just going to be there. You could type in whatever. The DM can send you notes secretly to each other. And It was a really awesome fucking system when I saw all the demos online and everything. It looked so good. But it just disappeared. So there's really there's nothing official. And then there was another company wor- that jumped in to take the place of that one yeah and just nothing didn't get the funding for it and never I, I don't think they've progressed with it since then no it's it's one of those things like the, the problem with D is not problem but the the allure of D D is the paper and pencil rpg it all in front of you with all the papers taking all the technology out of it it's just it by putting tablets in front of you instead of the papers it kind of takes some of the feel away so I could see like a lot of the traditionalists not wanting to be into it. Mm. I get it, but I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, I feel like a, like a more augmented reality approach. Yeah, like, would be nice. Well, I I downloaded yeah. this one. It's Safe a fifth edition character sheet. Yeah, but you have to pay after level one. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I went to go like upgrade my level when because we got a level up at the end of the campaign. I went to hit like level two, or I wanted to see what like I picked as my proficiencies on here, mm. and so I like wanted to increase the level so see them like jump off or whatever. And it just it was like you need you need to pay how much how much is it? I don't know, uh, probably like a dollar ninety nine or something. You know, I don't pay for. I shit. know you I'm don't, gonna... but I'm just curious how much it is. Also, does it include multi classing? Um, I have no clue because that's Rusty is so like so. Uh, my my brother in law he's really really into multi classing. Uh, just click purchase now; it'll tell you. It's not just going to charge you. Uh, Two ninety nine. That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Yeah. It's actually for all the work that goes into it. Why not? That's pretty cool. It's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to know if you can multi class. That'd be neat. If you can't, that kind of sucks. No, I've, I've been thinking because I made this monster in an app just to yeah get into android development mm. so i've been thinking of a new project and one of the, one of the things was like an android ch- like cheat sheet nothing too crazy just in a, just to keep track of stats and i don't know maybe See, I, I that's what i liked about this one the one app it was just it keeps track of stats when you level up it tells you all the things available to you mm. just like all right well you get four spells click 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 i'm good you know like it made it so easy and it could track everything and then your dm could be like okay uh you take four points of damage and it just sends it to your phone yeah. you take four points of damage mm. it's like this is so fucking creative it's it takes all of the fucking work out of D, which is one of the reasons why few people get into it because it's so much fucking work mm. uh but that's also one of the allures to it is there's so much fucking work that you have to do so i i would like to have an app just so that, like i'm terrible at keeping track of things so I'm going to need to find somewhere to place my character sheet that I'm never going to lose it, which I'm terrible at that. So if I had a an app that I could just keep track like every level what I have what my stats are, that way if I lose my character sheet I can just go in the next day and just it's like Google it. spreadsheet though. You could I could do that. Just yeah. pop it in there if I you use back it up. I use Google shit. Google Drive is my best friend as I, a DM. I keep my character sheet in the book. Boom. I don't have a book. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just go spend the thirty-five fucking dollars. God damn it! In fact, I was thinking of using like Google spreadsheets as like a mm-hmm. customized. Like DMs can put their own spells lists and everything for each character and stuff for maybe enemies and it'll just pull from spreadsheets and then it'll just take those stats and then you'd be like, oh, you're fighting this two of these enemies now. Mm-hmm. And then, Maybe I can add a PNG in the column or something that way. Just render some sort of animation. <laughs> but that'd be too, too, too Yeah, crazy. you don't need that. That's, that's the thing. Is just keep it as simple as possible because it's really all it needs to be. Just As long as it's functional and you can do all the stuff, I'd be like, you took a fire spell damage and you took your asshole wipe damage or whatever. Like I don't fucking know. You Somebody's going to roll the one when wiping their asshole and I can't <laughs> fucking wait. All right, guys. Let's just close it up. Are you all good? I think yeah. so. We talked about enough stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So what's that bullshit? What bullshit? You know the stuff you always read off at the end. All oh, right. The things that I don't read off, I just memorize. You don't have everything memorized. You have, a, you have a piece of paper in front of you right now. That's right. There's a lot of paper in front of me right now. It's Preston's <laughs> junk drawer. <laughs> All right, so uh, you can find us on the interwebs, guys. We're at www.one-quest.com. That's where the bulk of our non-existent content exists. It's where all this shit gets posted. And this is where this podcast is posted all the time. But you can also find the podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. Make sure you like us, subscribe to us, 
send us hearts or whatever the fuck they let you do because it makes us look better and people like us and the higher hearts and thumbs ups we are then the more people will see us also we are on facebook www.one dash ugh we're on Facebook, <laughs> www.facebook.com. Can't even slash. read this shit off a piece of paper. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> slash one quest online, all one word. You can, uh, we, we update sometimes, not too often. I've been trying to do a little more, but we like the podcast more than anything. And uh, we're also on Twitter at, at one underscore quest. Is where you can find us. That's pretty much all of our social stuff. Make sure you send us emails to social at one questcom We will answer them. We'll talk about them. It'll give us things to talk about because the more emails you send us, the less news we have to do every week. Although, if you really like the news, you should probably learn to read because it's all <laughs> over the internet and that's all we do is just read the internet when we're here. So Let's be fair. We read IGN. I know I, I go to GameSpot for games news because IGN is just so cluttered anymore. I go to I, I usually check my email to see what CBR sent out that week. Yeah, because they they I, I'm signed up for their uh, alerts. Right. So like when breaking news happens, they send me uh, an email. Breaking news. So I, I just all the news. first <laughs> so I, I just ser- I just search CBR in my email and it gives yeah. me the first like six news things usually. Makes sense. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. We'll talk to you guys some other time. Bye. Bye.